giving me grief before, but it stopped now. Sean Connery in a, in a sarong greets us all here at Saturday Night Fights. But this is not just any Saturday Night Fights. This is one we've been talking about for an awful long time. We're not going to waste any time diving into it. This is Vagram. I love this dramatic pan down and tilt. And we have assembled a, uh, a wonderful group of worthies who are going to play. I'm not playing. We have six players ready to have at Vagram in multiple, in multiple groups on the French side, which, of course, we know to be the forces of good and righteousness representing Napoleon Bonaparte. We have Pendre de Doug. Good evening, sir. Good evening. We have, as always, he that always cheerleads the French, our friend Ron Dalinor. How are you, sir? Doing good. Good evening, all. And we also have, again, representing the French side, Zeke Griffin26. How are you, sir? Hey, good. So we are uh, we are ready to go. Over on the other side, the forces of the Archduke Charles, that man who the... <laughs> if you travel over Vienna, you will be convinced he actually beat Napoleon more than one time, given how many bloody statues they've given him. But uh, representing them in the center is Velker. How are you tonight? I will. And over there on the left, we have Mike O.J.'s dad. Good evening, sir. Good evening. And we have also joining the Austrian side, our new guest, Pete Murdoch. Well, I suppose that's not his name, but Peter, comma, Murdoch. Good evening and welcome. I think he went to get another Bruce hey, here, right? <laughs> uh, he to, went, yeah, There he goes. We, 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 Sorry, we, I leaned over and I couldn't get back up. All right, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I have that problem all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I've fallen and I can't get up. Yeah, that's. Oh, oh, I, okay, guys, he just called out old people problems. I see how this is going to be. <laughs> all right, Melker. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I have oh, oh, I, I have this right. Oh, goodness. So let's see. Just here. remember, Velker, we know we 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 know how to fight dirty. That <laughs> that is that's my sixteen-year-old son. That is that is always the he's, thing. And he didn't leave this out him. yet. What's that? You didn't you didn't send out a tweet on this yet, did you? I didn't. That's exactly what's happening right now. I needed to get my cool. uh, my video feed stood up. So we apparently, I was having old people having problems. Old people problems when I was twenty-one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's that's. I'm saying. I'm I think saying. we all been in that boat one time or another, <laughs> <laughs> or several times in another. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we got the tweet. So anyway, let us go over the deployments and all the other things now that a tweet is out. Anybody in yet? We do not have. A Whoa. I, I, we had one person watching, and now we have five people watching. Yeah, nice to see you. Um, awesome. That's always a good thing. Uh, obviously, a very, very big battle. Let's go over the deployments. Uh, I'll grab the Austrians first, and I'll uh, ask you all to take to reference your guys. Um, Wagram, Anderkla, Neusiedl, Aspern, and Essling are all towns, each of which are two base widths wide and may be garrisoned. All right, so you can spot all those, I hope. Hirsch, <laughs> Germans. Hirschstetten, dear city, I like that. Hirschstetten, Leopoldau, Breitenle, uh, Sussendorf, sweet village, Gerresdorf, Seuring, Baumersdorf, Glinzersdorf, Obersiebenbrunn, Raschdorf, Wutzendorf, und Enzersdorf. These are all villages which may be garrisoned. The, Ros the Rusbach and the Absuchsgraben streams can be crossed by infantry and cavalry only, and it is difficult movement. Artillery can cross only at bridges, so let's take a look at that. That right there is your stream, and this right here is your stream. This is the Danube. Forget about it down here you're not going anywhere with that this sucker is actually why and I realize channelization occurs over 200 years but this sucker is wider than I thought it was and this whole area down in here is a ridiculous marsh especially right over here by Baumersdorf 
The streams southwest of Osprin can be crossed only by infrared cavalry only, right? The Danube is impassable at all points. Your units are set up essentially where they're supposed to be. I have placed them, the forwardmost units in each instance are on their start lines. What do I mean? If you come over here, for example, to Adderkla, this is essentially the start line here for one core. You can arrange in this general space, but you need to sort of keep it in here to make sure it's right. You can't go too far this way. You can't go too far that way. It's kind of a setup box. The more remarkable one is the one they've got for the reserves, which really does stretch out this far, which is why I had to do it this way. But you're free to deploy however you want in this space. And everything is set up again along those lines. And the same is true here. The French four core has this, this uh, division that is peeled off over here between Ospern and Hirstetten. They have to be roughly here. These guys, you can you know mess around with them in terms of their general location, but they have to be here and so on. We do have, these guys are right here. This is where they set up. They're not marching on, they're on. I'm referring here to the Six Corps, the Austrian Six Corps. This group of fellas, as we talked about, come in on turn five. You will remember that Ross McGee and the great guys at Old Meldrum generally, unless they say so, don't follow the Blucher reinforcement rules. You just march the guys on using those rules, but you don't have to roll for them, is my point. Far more disturbingly, and I'm calling you out, McGee, I love saying that, I'm calling you out, Mickey. You're giving the Austrians these fellas, this army of inner Austria. These guys never show up at the Battle of Wagram, but you get them today. Now, you do get them very late. You get them on turn 31. Okay? So they've been accounted for, but they do come marching on over there. So we looked at that. Let's talk about how you win before you start to set up and maybe tweak your dispositions. Both sides may use the rally rule. Adderkla, Wagram, Baumersdorf, and Neusiedl count for one broken unit for the Austrians. So if the French take Adderkla, Wagram, Baumersdorf, and Neusiedl, each one costs one unit for the Austrians. Adderkla and Rochdorf are two time broken units for the French. So losing Otterclaw or Rashdorf for the French, that's a double. Ospern and Essling are triple losses for the French. The Austrians immediately win. And boy, does this bear mention. If they can take Ensersdorf. They immediately win. However, to do it, they must have a clear line of supply. You can't just send a unit ninjing out there. Provided the unit has a clear line of supply traced via road back to the north or east table edge or by breaking the French morale. The French win by holding Adderkla, Underkla, I should say, Underkla, Wagram, Baumersdorf, and Neusiedl. Basically holding the Wagram which is this thing here. This terrain feature here is the Wagram. So if they take this and the three cities on the Wagram, they win outright as well. The game lasts 40 turns, beginning at 7 in the morning. The French receive 12 momentum dice. I repeat, 12. The Austrians receive 9. It has been my thought that we will use the rules that we use so successfully at Friedland, which is to say, each commander gets a chance to do an activation, and then it is the total of the activations is compared against the mo dice. If they haven't exceeded it, go back and do it again. 
If they have exceeded it, the turn ends. It's a balance and it seemed to work very well and it seemed to put a reasonable amount of pressure on them so it wasn't, you just had all the points in the world you wanted. Are there any questions about victory conditions or any of that? Cool. All right, well, I'll give you all, a, uh, unless you're content, I'll give you all a couple of minutes to sort out your guys and to place them where you'd like to place them. All right, French team, check the chat. Let's make sure that uh, uh -oh. the comms is working on the team tab, please. You can make a new voice channel if you really want to. Yeah, I think he's going to be content just to type to each other. Hey, it's Ian. Ian, I was very disappointed. The Danube is not fractionally that blue. Who's Davu? Uh, that, that's me. Yeah, that's you. Let's see. There are neither dragons nor wizards. I, Jim, I apologize. The advance guard, where did you say they can deploy to? Well, they, they pretty much everybody there. is where they where the where their okay. deployment is. Um, I mean, you get you can do right. you can. That's what I thought you said. You can fudge everything yeah. a little, but what I did was I actually brought in the map that Ross drew with, that has the deployment lines on it, set up the troops as best I could, and then mapped in the one that doesn't have the deployment lines on it. Wait, I just yep, realized good. I have Archduke Charles. You do, yeah. Oh. What that means is you get that activation once per turn. What, what arc activation? Just movement? No, you get to activate, you get to slap. You, you actually don't put, unlike the sub-commanders, he's not on the board. He's actually kind of over here and is representational. Okay. Once per turn, you can slap him down and everybody within six inches, you can activate at one point each. Most commanders, when that happens, it's the last thing that happens and the turn is over. But because Charles is mobile, it doesn't. Napoleon's is actually even more powerful. Where he slaps down, that core, that core he is activating, as long as it's the first activation, activates everybody for a max of two points. Which is kind of nice. That's just stupid. That is. It's Napoleon, baby. Deal. Can I rotate the guys here in, um, in the town? Can I rotate them a little bit? Sure. Facing is up to Austrians, you. Are we, Austrians, are we using the team chat tab? The probably, text? Probably should. Velker, you see where that is? There's yeah. maybe a team chat. I can have voice channel. No, 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 just, it's typing. Okay. Use the, yeah, use the type channel. Where is that? You have to bring up the, the HUD. Right. And if you bring up the HUD. And text channel? Nope, bring it up. Shift, you're gonna see. Shift 12. And once you're there. You see. Uh, Oh, got it, got it. Got it. Yeah, nothing major there, just just in case we need it. Oh, they're <clears throat> telling filthy secrets to each other. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the sounds you hear is people typing to each other. Yeah, it's going to be an unusual one, huh? <laughs> well, most games aren't this bloody big either. No, that is true. Quick, uh, quick question. Um, what do you, um, how do you judge the cresting of these hills? Do you go totally to the edge or just the parent crest or we, I, we, we try to use the military crest wherever it's possible i mean if you're if you're back i mean it, it, 
if you're back, you can't see over, if that's the question. I'll just borrow this boy right here. <clears throat> he can see. Right, yeah. He yeah. can't Perfect. see. Perfect. Yep. It's kind of funny to look at all the hands moving rapidly about. Where is Hasdrubal? We wonder about this. Is he in the chat? We need him. I have not seen him. We can get the achievements. Uh, just clarifying, we can shift around on the French side as well, our deployment a order. Absolutely. Yeah, you can shift around. as, okay. Like I say, you're basically in a box. Your front line is should be taken as absolute. Your flanks, you got a little flexibility, and your rear is pretty much wherever you want to go with it. But that's your deployment mm -hmm. space forward. Okay. Yeah, and until you guys pointed that out, I didn't realize down there in the uh, little chat, bo chat box here in uh, Tabletop Simulator that, that when you do teams, that, that each team has its own little private tab mm -hmm. then, too. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, dear. I'll be right back. Roger that. Possibly a stupid question, but this is the first time using uh, horse batteries. Mm -hmm. They move as cavalry? No, probably not, right? No, they're not that fast. You would. That's a. Yeah. You know, you're asking Do they have that. any. Their main thing is. So they only major. They can move and shoot. Yeah, okay. All right, that's what I just wanted to check. Thank you. I just didn't know if they had some sort of extended move as well. <clears throat> that's right, yeah, because if you spend extra, you get... Yeah, yeah. Um, can you remind me real quick, the base widths you guys use is two inches for everything? It's three. This is not... Three they they okay. aren't three-inch bases, but we're measuring things as three-inch base widths. Okay, just making sure. Okay, yeah, cool. it, it, and I think on this particular battle, I liked it because as I started to look at it with the full three inches, it's just huge. <laughs> I mean, it was, a, it was a freaking parking lot. This thing's massive. It's big as it is, right? But, I mean... That is... Eight feet long by... I'm back. Oh, hi, hi. Eight by ten. This is 80 square feet. Mm -hmm. That's stupid. I regret nothing. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I didn't... And I'm not even the guy that designed the flipping map. That was Ross. Apologize, Jim. Just a couple of rule reminders here. Sure. Calvary cannot t attack into towns, correct? Correct. Okay. And to shoot, we have to activate the units if, they, if we want them to shoot. No, no shooting is automatic. Is that correct. Shooting. Okay. Shooting. Shooting. That's what I couldn't. Re yeah, shooting. You're confusing it with yeah. Napoleon with Command and Colors Napoleonics. <laughs> right. And, it, and and I knew I was. I just couldn't remember yeah. which was which. Yeah, shooting in range Old man. is automatic. <laughs> It's one of those old man things, Vilker. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it comes. Old people problem. It comes to all of us. And to uh, answer your question, Pete, horse artillery moves three rather than two. Ah, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So six in it, our infantry, are we doing six inch moves? Yep. Jim? Yep. Infantry is... And, uh, and 12 six, for... And 12 okay. for horse, yep. Yeah. I'm just making sure with the scale and stuff that that's, mm -hmm. that's what we were doing tonight. Mm-hmm. Not that yes. I won't ask you three times. Quite all right. And you tend to just uh, mark the Elon in I on use the, the description I, text. Yep, I use the tooltip. Yep. All right. 
and I do set up I, I set up a system where it's Alon at the top but then a current Alon in case you want to rally. Oh, okay, hold on. Just because I've never I have never liked the bases. I want to play with my soldiers. We've been using the Elon trackers. They've actually worked pretty well. We I'm, use uh, these types of bases, but yeah. th they work well. Don't get me wrong. I just aesthetically, I, well. aesthetically, I can't bear them. Cause look at all the flags. Yeah, come on. Well, they get flags too. They just get these weird bases that stick out from underneath the flags. Crazy flags. I get crazy vistas with thousands of soldiers. <laughs> Okay, uh, Jim, did yes, you sir. happen to get the markers yes, to mark movement and the shooting, or no? Well, yeah, that's. I was wondering about the. Sh well, the shooting piece, we're going to have to be very so, well, metho that, methodical very about me left yeah. or right. Yeah, about left or right. Um, the the um, movement the, piece, I'm going to be bringing in the red block, I think. Um, uh, um, no dust particles? Yeah, right. Particulate matter. Because remember, it's something you give up rather than. Because these fellas, are they even? Oh, shoot. i got to switch over from centimeters. Hang on. <laughs> that won't do at all. So it's That's going to be confusing. Six inches is suddenly two. Yeah, I mean, these guys, these guys are too close. Most of these guys up here can't even use, use reserve move. Yeah, none of these guys can't. Really? Yeah, they're all in, within 24 inches of an enemy. They can see them. Well, I thought it was 12 inches. Pretty sure it was 24. See? First... Okay, this was the you first... Can, okay, this was the it's first... It's all for hazardable. Yeah, it's all for hazardable. Yeah, it's four bait twists, which would be 12. You okay. can move 24 inches in strategic, but right. you can't be right. within 12 inches of sight. Okay. Bilker, what are you measuring? <laughs> Time and space. <laughs> Stretching out. And just for the re and just for the record, they can move thirty six inches. Yeah, that's right. Oh, 36, Okay. Yeah. I thought it was because of the if they were on a road. That's the only time road comes to effect. No, actually, what road <laughs> does <laughs> is you can follow the road, and it negates terrain. That's right. All right. My apologies. No, All I have no. to say is, people of France. Yep. <laughs> Viva la Austria. There you go. Don't work. Oh, it's beat the Austria. That's what it is. <laughs> well, what are we? About the last three games in a row, we've either won or... or oh, now he's starting. Here we go. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just asking. Uh -huh. Bringing out the street uh -huh. crash. <laughs> I'm an old man. I can't remember these things. Uh -huh. These, these uh -huh. details. Here. Uh -huh. That's why he brings it up. Yeah, That's why he brings it up every day. <laughs> See, this is this is what I'm saying. So I don't see any heavy battery out here, do I? I, I didn't. St I can't remember if anybody does. If anybody does, it'd be you, Joker. Because uh, those those are fun. Those are fun and free. Like <laughs> Although, yeah, yeah. The, I think the well, the Russians are lousy with them. Oh, yeah. uh, the Russians have so much artillery at Friedland, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Except unless, well, of course, unless you're Russian. In which case, it's, right. in which case, well, it's well, there is one. reasonable. Your guard has I, a, I, uh, heavy. Dude, I. I was the Russians, remember? Oh, and I still thought it was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You have uh, two heavy artillery, your guard foot artillery. Is oh, that, heavy. of course. That's right. That's right. The French have that over here. The, the, these are the Emperor's daughters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Emperor's daughters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Friedland, though, has the artillery master, doesn't he? What, doesn't it? Yep. Yep. That's the one I used. I kept freaking loading, fire, reload, yeah, fire. Yeah, that guy's good. That guy's good. Yeah, that guy's good. yeah, I love that guy. 
Yeah, no, Doug, when Doug and I playtested the uh, Friedland game for John Tiller Software, we actually played that battle twice, which is not a small undertaking. And the first time, he shot his guns so much, he, you ran about half your guns out of ammo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, and it was... And it was it was ridiculous because I kept marching and marching and marching and all that kept happening was Doug didn't have to move too many guys. It was mostly, <laughs> now you will please shoot that man there. Thank you. <laughs> proceed. Please, please do proceed and shoot many French people. <laughs> it was gross, man. I'm telling you. It, it, was, it was kind of an ugly thing. Especially for my horse. Oh my god! I was watching Gorky Park before, and he's talking a British accent. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they chose that. It's like the Valkyrie of the '80s movies. There's well, there's all kinds of stuff like that. Are you kidding? Why do Why do all Romans speak with a cut glass Oxford accent? Why do Americans speak differently than the English? Well, yeah, it was it was kind of funny to watch Michael Craig attempt that Colonel Sanders Southern accent in Knives Out. Yeah, like he just he did. pulled it off okay. It was funny. It, yeah. I, a little no, foghorn, leghorny, but that's what I'm saying. It's exactly this <laughs> that I am saying. It was less gr uh, cringy because it was coming from him for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, well, it's, it's nice to be that handsome, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at this yeah, guy. Yeah, I know going, it's a burden. It's a burden. Yeah, right. I'm looking at him, going, "What must it be like to be just, you know, I'm as the hetero as they come, but I'm like, man, you are a gorgeous man. <laughs> you really are." Okay. Quick question. That's, be, oh, that's game, Austrian for Will. That gorgeous man. <laughs> <What? laughs> Wait a minute. Sorry. Um, Wait a minute. Talking gorgeous men. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's a French I, thing. I, 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 actually, He's I have gone a downhill question. real quick. We haven't even it pushed a figure. Really We're already uh, <laughs> opposing it, each other. Yeah, it, sound, it, it, sounds, it never it takes long. Long. <laughs> It sounds like Ron has a game-related like question. Game -related question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Down here near my fourth core, uh, I can't. I'm bad at pronouncing names. This one town that's here. Yeah, uh, that's so here. Deer City. Is that the one that's too? Yes, is that the one that's two points? Um, yeah, uh, no, yeah, that's uh, no, that's Underclaw. No, that's Underclaw. I think. Let me look. Let me think. Uh, Otterclaw and Rochdorf are two times when calculating French morale. So it's Otterclaw, Underclaw, I should say, and Rochdorf. So you got to get in deep. Okay. You got to get. Isn't right, right. Okay. A big one too? Uh, well, I can barely read these straight side up. Otterclaw, Wagram, Baumersdorf, and Neusiedl are one for the Austrians. Oh, I spawn on top of Baumersdorf. Sure. Sure. It's yeah, well, ag again, it makes sense, right? These are the four points. Three points. These, these are the four points that the Austrians are ultimately defending. Right. But if the French take all of them, then we immediately lose. Correct. All right, you may continue your conversation about gorgeous men if you want. <laughs> if, if you're so inclined. I'm bored now. We're gorgeous men. <laughs> stop it. You will stop it. I mean, we do have Sean Connery in the corner there, half naked, so I mean. <laughs> yeah, I was going to, you know, you know, the homoerotic overtones are not not here. This. <laughs> Speak. You're, you cannot, not ill of Zardoz. That's, you, are, you may not start the game prepared, I don't think. I think you have to activate to prepare. Uh, I, I oh, just that, did. I just did. I understand. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, is prepared and garrison two different things, or is that... No, what, when, when you prepare in a city, you are... You're in garrison. You're in garrison. All right, I wasn't sure if there was actually a separate garrison thing. Nope. Okay. Mm -mm. It's been a while since I said anybody actually garrison a city. Yeah, play Duggett asks for nestling sometime. You're going to see Garrison until hell, <laughs> until hell won't have it. God almighty. 
So how we doing? Oh, nice, so we doing? nice win against the against Spain this morning, uh, Jim. Oh, thank you. No, I I will tell you, Albuera is a fun scenario, but it sucks to be the British if all of and a sudden mm-hmm. the French pull all kinds of crazy left flank cards. Yeah. That was. Yeah, that it looked was, a little overpowering on that one side. Yeah, it was a. It was. Yeah, you know, Marshal Sue did have his way with the Spanish, right? No doubt. Can happen to the nicest army. Mm-hmm. So we good? You think? Are we set? I think we're ready to rock. I'm ready. I'm ready. Lock, ready I to think rock. So. Okay. The, the Austrians got the go, so they get they get to go first at seven at uh, seven o'clock in the morning. Um, remember though, they get nine dice. The French get twelve. So uh, any one of the uh, good French folk want to give them some nine mo dice right over here? Where's Napoleon? Riff. I'm doing it. He's doing it. it. There it goes. Oh, all right, you oh, got bank. it. All right, there's some mo dice. Oh, wait, got to turn that printing off. That's no good. Print is off. Yep, now they know. Hit it again. Yeah. Hit it again. Yeah. Now they don't know. Oh, no, we don't. Away you go. Austrians, what do you want? Do we want to go left to right? Yeah, why don't we? That makes it you, Mike. All right. All right. So core One, two, now. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm-hmm. And correct me if I'm wrong on this, Jim. I don't have to pivot them if I wanted, like. Just move them off this Cor- direction. I correct. Face it. Correct. Correct. Okay. That's, I'm just that, trying to make sure I got the right rule sets. In place. Yeah, no, that's that's fair, man. You just shoot them straight ahead, but it's that half move. It's half move, Mike. Half. Half. Yeah, three. Three. Scoop, yeah. Oh, interesting. You you allow us to do that? Why wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's everybody's moving three inches on an easy move, so that's one. Right, but you have. Five, you do have cavalry in there, too. Eight. Oh, yeah, well, that's Yeah, true. I thought about... He can move them faster if he wants, but... Yeah, I was going to hold him Sorry. right there for the Very moment. Comparison, right. that's fine. So that's eight for Mike, which you got in the center, Valker. Um, can I remember where Bahamars are? Let's start with these guys. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll, I'll start with some of these infantry. So these two are going to garrison and bombersdorf. All right, so they're going to move forward. They've got enough move, and so you're going to. Does this guy count? Does he? Just well, remember. You, why don't you move them individually and let's see how it plays out. Mm-hmm. I don't. Th- I. I th- so. Uh, so you want? Why don't you do this? And then show me how you want to move. This does garrison two people. Right. So why don't you show me two guys moving them, th- uh, however many, three inches. If you're, if you're moving this guy straight ahead, right. you you got. Well, he hits difficult terrain though. So. He does. Yeah, yeah. the city, three inches. He's got three inches straight ahead. So he's just gonna go straight in that city. Well, but what you can do then is if you if what you're trying to do is garrison Bomersdorf, which makes good sense, you move him forward the three inches. As far as you can. There you go. Stop him. And then this guy can angle in behind him. Mm-hmm. There you go. And then you have two units in there. Right? And now you've got a garrison. And then this guy's going to move up. Cool. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Alright. And as a leaf flows by, you have a leaf garrison. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. I nice. Hear you. So that's uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Keep going, Velker, if you got anybody else in this core. That's all I want to move. Okay, that's 12 mm. total. We now swing over here to the right. Pete, what you got? I'm going to activate my reserves here. All right. Okay. I'm going to first... Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm going to pivot these two uh-huh. and do a simple 
forward move, which would give me three base widths, correct? All right. Of course, yep. Mm -hmm. Nine inches. So that would be th nine inches. I assume I just need to end not on top of my fellow exactly. humans. Exactly. Second, let me grab this. Nope, I'm in the wrong mode. Sorry. No, it takes getting used to. Keep me honest about straightness. You're doing good, actually. Although. Nice. Hopefully, I'm not. Hopefully, I'm not touching them. I don't think so. And if you are, oh, you're just good. Them. Yeah, you're perfect. Yeah, I'm just good. All right. All right. So that's that. But um, here we have difficult terrain in front of us. So I think we only have a um, complex move, right? Yep. So I'm gonna pivot. Mm-hmm. And go uh, six. Correct. correct. Keep me honest about my straightness yeah, here. It's also good. You're doing fine. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've got. All right. And just let me. That would quick. be that core. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. They were outside of range when it started. All right. So the number we're looking here is 22. How are we doing? Uh, they still are. Uh, they still. Are. All right, we get to go another round. Mike, you're up. All right. I like how we do this. I like how you do this. Delker, Peter. I don't know that I need to move my fourth quarter. I would. At all. Um, I would like to move these grenadiers if you don't mind. I'm gonna give them a little tickle. <laughs> You want to scooch over tickle, here? Tickle. Yeah, I, I, we're just saying. I don't think I have anybody else that I need to move right yeah, now. Elker, yeah, there's a there's a yeah, whole lot of standing I, up on a ridge. By the way, if you guys, I know we've talked about this before with some of you, but if you scooch over here and those who can, I know not everybody can, but this Austrian picture underneath here, that's the tower at Noisiedel, so you get an idea of how high up off the ground this sucker is. And there were people doing construction. There, were, yeah, and over here, yeah. that's Velker standing here on top of the berm that these guys are defending right there so that thing is not not short. it's not it's not uh, shallow with a 22 sounds like you had something you wanted to do pete yep um i was going to put my flag up over here and say hey can i move dig it like granted deers it sounds like mike and you good with that valker you go okay with that? Yeah. Bill? All right. Okay. All right. Activating core. Um, I'm going to do a simple. Pivoting. Moving six. March, march, march. Yep. march. We're done. I'll give you a, I'll give you a point one. All right, all right. Uh, well, I so know everybody's going on the left flank so of me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's twenty. That was twenty-two, twenty-six. Did you have anything you wanted to do, Velker? Yes, I was going to move in. Are these guys in the tower? No. Nope. Mm -mm. I'll be inside it. They will. Very good. Very good. In there. Just yep. Okay. It's gonna get interesting very fast. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't move. I wouldn't move the guns there, Velker. Yeah. I was gonna it's say, fine. there's a unit of these crazy I, Saxon I, heavies. I, the Saxons are still mad from our. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the Saxons are still mad from our Friedland game. I am not kidding you. Just getting wailed on by my guns. That's just... My superior weapon light. Yeah, okay, start with that. That's that's what I want to hear. <laughs> uh-huh. <sighs> so... Well, be honest with us. Did your dad sit around and stew for a couple of days after some of these? Uh... <laughs> I cannot confirm nor deny. Oh. That means a yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's always yes. Just go ahead and... Yeah. <laughs> that is just hurtful. Did your mom have to make him his favorite meal to soothe him? Meal to soothe him. <laughs> hey, Jim. 
Yes, Question sir. for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are these Saxons actual lawn too? Yes. The reason. Oh yes. shoot. The reason. Thank you oh, very shoot. much. Thank you what very we much. Have, this is this what is something have, that's built this in. Is, this is something that's built in. If you command these troops, we have to go through here very quickly. If you command these troops, you need to make a rally roll um, because these guys were injured on the first day of the battle, and the uh, rules require that we check to see whether they get better. Uh, Jim, did I need to do that for oh, my band man. Yep, there are, and it's this is easy to fix. This is actually very easy to fix because. I'm sorry, Jim. Did you say I have to do this for the advance guard also? If if you see guys that have a current Alon stat, yes, you do. It's a, a, typically a current Alon stat of what? Anything. Nobody should have a any, current anything. Okay. Any, every, these guys, all these yeah, guys. and it's usually it's over there towards Underclaw. Yep, That's that is Bernadotte's Saxon attack. Um, those are those are the Saxons that the French shot at as they were trying to leave. Uh, oh, yeah. That's that, that. They were they were shot at by their own men because they looked like they wear. Well, their uniforms are white. They looked like they're white. Well, they're white. Yeah. Well, aren't Austrian suits gray? They, no, they, they have well, a sense of beef about them. They, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in the middle of fire, gray or white, they're probably going to look the same, especially it's, with the well, powder, exactly by the, yeah, black well, powder. Exactly. exactly. So. What we're going to do, after these guys are set up, we have to do this for them, and there are some Austrians this has to happen for. So you'll notice, let's take this first brigade. They have lost four Elan. Um, who commands this troop, the Nine Corps? That's OJ. I do. That would be Delanor. That's Delanor. All right, so what you're going to do, remember that a, in a, a rally is a three to a six to get the <coughs> point. Is to, it's a three to six to get the point back. Um, yes. Uh, so, so you're gonna. So roll, in other words, I'm not gonna be able to rally them. So 46. Every successful rally gets you one of these points back. But how far can they be? Able? They can go all the way back up. Right, but how far? Do they no, need but to be but able how far from the leader? It doesn't. No, no, no. It, it's not a regular rally. It's a rule. It's a. Ah, it's, a okay. it's a special okay, rule perfect. in the roster. Thank you. So that's up the, 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 no, or the that normal happen? rally. Yeah, the normal is rally what, 12 is twelve inches. inches. Is twelve inches? Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Thank you. So, if uh, Delinor, you want to give me those four dice, please, real quick. I want to get this fixed right away. That's all of them. Oh. Well done. All right. Next guy over are these Saxons under Zeshow. Another four dice, please. Look at you! That was all four, correct? Yeah, I hope that that's was all four, correct? Yes, and I hope that stays. <laughs> you're just you're just running out of luck. You're just... Okay, those guys did not. I know. Okay, uh, now for this brigade, Lecoq. Another four. My goodness. What's the need to roll? Three or better. Well, then that was only three. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's I. As as was the prior one. Was it okay? All thank you. So yeah, all of them have been three, not four. Thank you. <coughs> I'll take it. It's better than two. Oh heavens! Or it's better than none, for that matter. Yeah, that's true. I meant starting a line of two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's oh, right, yeah. oh right! Yeah. All right! Yeah. And one more core. I mean, one more brigade, right? Uh, let's see here. Lecoq uh, is let's at see here. Five, Lecoq is at five. Yeah, now you need Stundel. Yeah, now you need Stundel. And three for that one. All right. There are some French, I think. Everybody check your brigades. I think you've got guys that have this. Actually, I'm sorry. The Austrians should check. Some guys. They have the advanced guard yeah. that has yeah. it. That's it. Who's got the AG? That's okay. I do. All right, so let's start here with Von Meyer. He rolls three dice. Three? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Uh, got three. Him. Very nice job. 
They're back in the fight. And now we'll do von Reise, three dice. Ooh, nothing. Ooh, None. owie, owie. How about these guys? Yep, Frolich, three dice. Two. Two. All right, get them back to five. So they had some good rest. Uh, Vexi, three dice. All three. Three. That was crazy. One of them landed on one of the corners again. Nice. How about von Meyer back here? Yep, von Meyer. Two. Von okay. Reise. Three dice, please. One. One. Ooh, there we go. It's a little worse. How about the... Yep, this is uh, three dice, yep. Two. Two. Those are some good guys to get back. And finally, the last brigade von Schneller, also three dice. Uh, I thought they were already at... Oh, no. Nope. Nope, nope. These are the horses in the back. <laughs> when I was looking, I think your hand came over and... Yep, two. two. Right. I believe that's it. All right. Thanks for catching that. Cool. So we were at 26. Yeah, I looked at it. I was like, whoa. Yeah, we were at 26. And Velker, you are advancing here. They right? may continue. All right. This guy is going to fire. That's later. That's in the fire phase once all the activations are done. Cool. I'm done. Then. All right, so he's done. So that take 20 with 26, you can wrap around again. OJ, do you have people you wanted to move? No. Velker, you? Nope. All right, it's to you, Pete. You got anything? Peter's up. Yes, I will move the 6th Corps. Those fellows hanging. Oh goodness! <laughs> yeah. yeah. The otherwise forgotten men. Very good. I was, I was hoping you did forget them. Mm, fair enough. The sneakiest All right. I think. I think I will pretty much keep the cavalry intact. Now remember. So I will do a. Yeah. This is an activation move, if ever I, or a uh, reserve move, if ever I saw one. Oh, it is a reserve move. Oh yeah. I mean. But you, they. Oh wow. Yeah, I mean, your nearest guy is. A good chunk away. You okay, let me ask you again: Are mm -hmm. are either are the, is, are either of these towns objectives right here? These three, any of these? Any of these I can't read them very well. Brighton, sorry. Lee, Hirschstetten, and I don't. I don't I, think so. Yeah, no. Leopold Al. Like is Aspern good. is the closest. Yeah, Aspern. Yes, and that's a big one. Aspern and Essling are big ones. But from a defensive point of view, none of those are. Yeah. None, none of these three are. Or They're not points, if that's points. what you're asking. Yeah. All right, let me just take a... I'm just going to take a look around just for a moment before I move these. Of course. See what I'm up against here. Make sure I'm not jumping into the... World of Hurt. Ah, nice positional batteries. Too. There's a nice mixed force over here. Nice core. All right. Hmm. So I can basically go 36 inches as long as I don't get within 12 of these folks, right. probably. So if somebody, if somebody could keep me keep a measurement there, that'd be nice. I got it. Um, let's see. Got these, it. Guys, these those guys don't block that. That town is going to block their line of sight. All right, so I can basically get pretty much here, right? Yep. Easily with two. This two can garrison this. Uh, that is Hirschstetten. What do they tell me about Hirschstetten in the book? Although, technically, I probably don't care. All right. I'm going to go up and give you some hurt here. All right. Six core has ideas. I'm going to get... I'm going to get within 12. Somebody can mark a 12 inch there from that. Get there? I'm going to go right about here. Pull back, pull back, right about. And this is can be a complex, right? Well, you it's a it's a reserve any... move. Yeah, you can you can go any way, face any way. Yeah, you're good. I think that's where I want to be. All right, All six right. core has advanced. Nice. Uh, so that was... send I send off a uh, flare. <laughs> 27, 28, 29. <laughs> and it and it ex it explodes and says in German in German. It has begun. <laughs> it has begun. It's fanked on. 
I'm yeah. a 30 second bomb. So yeah. we're at uh, one, two, three. Yeah, it's I'm a 30 second bomb from Starship Troopers. Oh, we mi we misspelled it, so it says it's Finkter. <laughs> <laughs> so that is 33. Doug, how are they feeling? You are done. Oh, you are done. You are finished. You are moving. <laughs> you are done. You are done. All right. So uh, he was. You are in fact. Right. You, you 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 are in fact exactly done. Nice. Thirty three points. That was a good roll. Um. Mm. So I know we had some cannon nodding to do. Where is it? Velker, you wish to cannon nod? Yes. All right. So that's uh. I'm, I'm probably going to go against those heavy cavalry. You're going to point oh, that. They're scary. I... He can Take a couple horse heads off for just, me. Just, just bear in mind, Mike, he can, that, those horse can close that distance in one charge. Yep. Yep, yep. I was I was thinking the same thing. Just, I, at first, I was just, going to go just saying these I, guys, but then. So yep. that's going to be uh, nope. He's five dice. He's exactly right. Yeah, five I don't. Dice, five dice, no bonus. All the more reason to take a horse head or two off. That's a hit. One hit? What am I rolling for? Sixes. Oof. Uh, I killed one of them. You did. Or at least I hurt their feelings. So the current along is six, and I go over here to this battery, and I cut it down to a four. I hurt their feelings. Their feelings are definitely hurt. Okay. <laughs> any other shooting? I don't think so. Didn't see any. You could tell me. Oh, are you going to take care of Aldi? Alon and Emma? Yeah. He, yeah, he oh, awesome. That's what I do. Part of the umpiring duty. I need to start doing that. Yeah, I need to start doing that as an umpire. Okay. Everybody good? I think that's it. I don't certainly know melees yet. Um, that then, let's uh, move our markers forward, please, to turn two. No change to morale. No reinforcements. So... I would ask our Austrian friends to please give the French 12 Mo dice. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Good, Velker. Okay. All right. That's an obscene amount of momentum. There's an obscene, obscene amount of troops. Napoleon Bonaparte, who wants to go for two? All right, let's start moving from our right to our left. So, the the thing I'm okay, always Monsieur with... Monsieur the Iron Marshal, please begin. All right. So <laughs> you, you remember, right. if you want to give him Napoleon's thing, it has to be first. <clears throat> give him Napoleon's thing. Okay, I don't look. know Davu that well. Davu <laughs> 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 has all right. You, if you wish, Jim's on a good roll tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's embarrassing. I'm pretty sure they have it shrink wrapped in Lyon. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. There's a song about that. Um, but no, it uh, Napoleon's yeah. excellent staff work. What it does is, if he is the first order given in a turn as a core order, that core command costs two points max. And I will do that for him. All right. So what um, you do Davu is, who also has the the vigorous trait too, right? Which does that work in this as well, or uh, let's? <coughs> like a, I don't recall. I think it's every yeah, the, sir. Vigor every sir. the vigorous trait is actually the same thing. It'll count as oh, it could count as, as half, I think. Yeah, his is yeah. Half. So uh, go ahead. Yeah, vigorous ahead. is half. If so, if you want, I could use Davu's trait for my activation of the core, and you could save it for a different core if you like. Do it, yeah. Does it regenerate? You get it every turn. I mean, if I use it now, can I use it again? Right, every turn, right? Uh, yeah, but the trick yeah, is... Yeah, his and, does. Mine does it. Mine does it. Devout's it, does it. It's, it's every three it, turns. It's got to be, for oh, Doug's benefit, okay. for Doug's, it's got to be the first activation of Doug's movement phase. The first uh, activation yeah. of Doug's movement phase has to be excellent staff work for it to count. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Right. So you you're getting it. Gotcha. That makes sense. You are you are <laughs> you're getting Napoleon's You are thing. getting you're Napoleon's getting thing. You're gonna, you're gonna get good staff work and you're gonna like it. <laughs> so again Poor Valker. He may make one core activation comprising any number of units for a cost of two momentum. Okay. I'll do Davu's entire force uh, sixteen units here then. She's uh, <laughs> 
Okay, then. The, the Iron Duke marches. <laughs> the Iron so Marshall. I'm going to do the two that are going to go individually first. So. Mm -hmm. Six inches. My wife's giving me a weird look. <laughs> we, we were talking about Napoleon giving to who his thing. And it's, uh, you know, yeah. It's kind of uncomfortable. Just like, I'm just going to let that go. Yeah, you know. Oddly comfortable. That's, <laughs> you're good over there? Okay, just want to know. Hey, Haz, we're looking at you. Where you been? No, is that... Is that... Uh, the Ooh. rest of these guys all just move all together and forward. All right. Just a it's some sort of weird small record. Small little... Yeah. The, yeah. the guys over here in Noise Eatle are like, Hey, um... <laughs> the crowd's shaking. <laughs> There's a whole lot of Vive L'Empereur going on. And we just say, that's target practice. Yeah. Believe it or not, that, because Napoleon dunce, and we actually do this, we slap him down over here, because he just done that, that cost two. Wow. 16 for two. Yeah. That's, that's a little... Oh, boy. That's a little insane. Mm. Okay, so, Doug, that is your... That is actually your activation, uh, because it has to happen from you, so... Uh, we go to who else we got here? Who else we got at this little party? Hey. Ah, now I can hear you again. Oh, there you are. Um, so we got uh, Ron. Who do you want to activate? There are some Austrians um, over. There's there are some, some Austrians, Austrians over here dancing yeah, with murderous I intent. Have, with murderous intent. I know. I'm looking at that. And also in front, if you look at my guys right there. True. All right, but I'm gonna go with True. Miss Senna's group here. Jim, I'm getting wicked echo off of you. Off of me? Yeah. Occasionally, I, yeah. It, I think it's Ron because he has to do push. Oh yeah, no, no, it's actually it's actually off yeah, of Ron. Yeah, but I do push. If it, Ron's yeah, mic is, if Ron's mic is open, it will echo. Ah. Uh, yeah. So he he, goes, right. he usually goes push to talk. So Ron will just watch what you. <coughs> walkie walkie. That is the most tentative French advance I have ever seen. I think he's insulted you there, Ron. I think so, too. What, what is quivering in French? <laughs> tremblante. <laughs> oui, oui. Il, a, il se marche tremblante. <laughs> and beware of the trembling, pee wee. <laughs> Ogre, do you take French in, in school? No. What are you studying? No. Espanol. He's studying Spanish to help us when we go to the Peninsular Battles. There you go. In my, uh, in my high school French class, I was Raul, the Spanish exchange student. <laughs> well, very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> that way I could explain my horrible accent and lack of understanding of French. Roger that. I thought maybe he was doing that to, to uh, get closer to the girls. Eh, you know. Eh, you know, it didn't hurt. Six and two threes. <laughs> <laughs> I was in French in middle school, actually, and we sang that song on the way, and the in the teacher's like old wagon. It was pretty funny. The car was about to fall apart. We're going to like a language Olympiad or something like that. We were singing the. The Marseillaise. Yep. <laughs> oh, these poor Baden guys. I mean, I love my emperor. Everybody knows that. But it's like he just roped a whole lot of people into fights they didn't want.
Yeah, unfortunately, you're not going to get there, Ron. Oh, I see you're going six. Never mind. Never mind. But you still got to go straighter than that. <coughs> Look at your team chat, too, when you get a chance, yeah, I saw there, a chance there. Okay. <coughs> yes, I saw. There's nothing I'm able to see. I'm very concerned by this. There you go. Well, it's very nice. Very nice, very nice. The Austrians have the combined free willy brigade. <laughs> that is not free willy. <laughs> Although that's awesome. <laughs> that is not what that under, says. Under Morrissey, so they're they're all really emo. <laughs> <laughs> And, the uniforms, the uni these uniforms breathe very well. Yeah. <laughs> They're terribly gender confused. <laughs> There's no confusion. <laughs> yes. So where are the Freiwillige? There they are. Yeah, Morrissey's Freiwillige. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start singing the Smiths by the end of this. Uh, was, that's, that's, that's what's going to happen. If it has to happen, it has to happen. The really bad thing is that happens every match. So, <laughs> yeah, really, yes, yes, it really didn't need to be prompted. It just kind of happens. Guys, I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. I gotta go check on something with the dog outside. I'll be right back. Cool, we'll be here. Shooting at you. It is not actually a wolf. What's that? It's not actually a. It's wolf. not. It's not actually a wolf outside. <laughs> Well, no, I think he's got another raccoon cornered, if not killed already. So <laughs> I'll be right back. Just got to check on him. He's staring him down. Yeah. As far uh, as no, the dog is him. concerned, <laughs> it's a wolf. He's, 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 got four, he's, got four, he's got three raccoons confirmed already in three weeks. So my, uh, he's off to a good start. Yeah, my, dog, he's a my dog took out a mouse family the other day. That was fun. Oof. The streaking still in my ears. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's loud. Not fun. I've, I've not fun. I've, yeah, not not no, it was bad. I've heard that. I have heard that. <clears throat> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, we're at ten, eleven. One guy. My dog stole. These friends are almost too hat. pretty to fire at. Spoken almost. like Morrissey. <laughs> <laughs> so do, we, do we have to shoot them? Um, they are wearing lovely uniforms. And do we have to shoot the friends? They are wearing lovely can uniforms. We not, can we not make the friends? We wish to make the friends. Oh dear lord. <laughs> what in the name what in the name of the blue blazes are you doing, Home Slice? Oh You call that a flank march? You gotta pull that back a little Sorry, guys. bit. Sorry, guys. A little bit. Yeah, it's that, was, that was thirteen nine. That was thirteen nine. You owe him an. Oh, you owe, sorry. You owe him one point nine inches back. <laughs> there you go. All right. So that's All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen to you, Doug. What do you feel like? Um. Well, uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, the 18th light of the f and fifth line are going to garrison. They're going to prepare. Ooh, look at that. You have some options. Uh, yeah. Let me think whether I'm going to do any. I don't. I have no no reason to do any core moves, so that's all we're gonna do. All right, so you're gonna be done with core moves, and I'm sorry, you said there you got who who's do, who's doing that over here? These these, these fellows there. All right. Yep. Womp. 
they're prepared. Look at that. They have Garrison Rochdorf. All right, so that would be a grand total of two. That's an additional two because it was a single move. So we had, I don't know why I can't keep numbers in my head. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We return over here to Devu. You got anything other, anything else you want to do? You got fifth, you spent fifteen, you got more. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate a uh, second core over here. Okay. Uh, I'll activate. I'll bring, uh, let me see, one, two, three. I'll bring uh, six brigades forward. All right. That's a lot of French. It is. It is a dog. Sorry. So, yeah. Oh, F1. There we go. All right. There we go. Dog, I got a question for you in team chat. Oh, okay. So you got... Okay, so you're just going to move these six? All right, 21 over to you, Ron. Yes, give me one moment, please. You got it. I'll give you two. Hey, it's Andres. I was worried that you weren't going to be able to make it, my friend. Good to see you. There's Red. I, did I see you in the chat before, Red? If I didn't, I don't think I did. Hello and good evening. Welcome to Vagram. I realize that's a bit of a non-committal answer, but... I'm going to go with the, the second one we discussed. All right. It's probably safer. Yeah. All right. I'm activating a nine. Nine core? Okay. Away you go. I'm back. Hey, hey. Bring it on. <laughs> Just, you're activating them to back up. Okay. That's it. You know my hands are a little shaky. It's all good. It's all good. 15. So I'm drinking wine tonight, 15, so they want to shake someone. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21. Grabbing another brew. I'll be right back. Good man. 23. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make myself another glass. I don't. I don't. 20, right 23 to Doug. You got anything? Uh, no. Uh, the guard and the heavy cav are going to sit for now. Okay. Uh, you guys may continue. Davu, do you have anything? 23 um. to you. And now he's burying his treasures underneath the bush by the front porch. Oh, oh. yeah, he'll be get up in the next day uh, or two. This uh, cavalry, uh, I guess the, what is it? Type division? It's a division. Or, yeah. Well, all part of. Okay, I'll activate his cavalry division. All right. Um, now their movement would be different if I went through the town, correct? So I want to kind of go around it if I were to. Correct. You're going to get more movement if you go around. It'd be it. difficult. Yep. Okay. That's a lot of cavalry. River. Only like nine or so. I'm just going to bring them up as far as they would. Yep. Those are some really good horse, too. Those are really good horses. I am back. I just realized I gotta do a better job of pulling back to show people what the overall is, because otherwise you really lose track if you zoom in on this map. <laughs> it's awesome. You know, it seems like half most of our recent games have been like a half or a third of this uh map size. Yeah. Well Velka, you said it was how big? It's 80 square feet. Yeah, this is an 80 square foot map. Wow, is it really? Mm -hmm.
Okay, that's it for my cavalry. All right. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 29 over to you, Ron. Do you got anything? These guys are done. I didn't know if you wanted to do anything down here with the remains of four core or anybody else for that matter. Yes, actually. I did. Away you go then. Fifth core. Lou, we gotta go find them. Got them. Ruh row raggy. They're feeling a certain kind of way. Dang it! They're, they're, <laughs> they are. They are. They are feeling that way. They are feeling that upside down way. I'm telling you, Andres. I walked a big chunk of this battlefield the one thing i'm gonna tell you about it and i'm sure you'll agree this battlefield is flat until you get to the vagram the one of the craziest experiences in my battle visiting life is i was out here at the napoleon's hoa at rashdorf and it seemed like the tiniest little hill in the world and then I took about six steps back to a little bitty rise, and I could suddenly see 20% more of the battlefield. And then you imagine Napoleon as he famously is depicted on horseback. He was flat. <coughs> yes, it is the first acrobatic core. <laughs> hey, Jim, didn't you say one of these Napoleonic games that rule sets... Oh, no, maybe I'm thinking of a... No, I'm sorry. Yeah, Last we... week, you said that one of the Napoleonic uh, Command and Conquer game sets was out of print, didn't you? Rule sets that we were using last week or a couple weeks ago? Uh, yeah. Actually, it, if you go back and you look at Ancients, Epic is oh, hard ancient. to... Epic is nearly impossible to get. In ancient, okay. Yeah, the ancient epic is nearly impossible to get. You can get a ton of battle cry, you can get a ton of battle lore, but epic goes for a fortune. Alright, I'm done. One, two, three, four, five. It's 29. 29. I suppose I should go total things now. You're still good. Good. Thank you, Bucker. So that would have taken us back to Doug, uh, but I just check in. Have you changed your mind, Doug? You want to go? Nope, nope. He's got nothing to do right now. All right. How about? All right. How about you, Zeke? You got anything? Uh, yeah. I'll activate. Um, I'll bring up the rest of Second Corps. All right. Uh, these four units here. Got it. <clears throat> Twenty-nine plus four, that's thirty-three. Okay. All right, you got anything else to run? No, that's it. All right, that's it. Thirty-three, Velker. Can they keep going? They may continue. All right, the only guy that was calling for anything was Zeke. You got anything? Uh, yeah, I'll activate uh sixth core uh, over here. All right, a lot of a lot of moverins. Moverins? I don't think that's a word. Moverins. Yeah, yeah, those yeah, are those uh, are. Uh, Special French pastry. Oh, are they? <laughs> I love jam. I love jam Wolverines. I thought they were midget Wolverines. <laughs> there you go. Too. No, no, those are those are Moverines. Oh, ah, okay. Oh, with, the, okay. with the umlaut, though, I guess. Yeah, there's an umlaut. Right. <laughs> Somehow there's an umlaut. Right. <laughs> the Germans you put it over the. German's got to work in it a lot somehow, for God's sake. That is a heavy metal band name, isn't it? Yeah. Umlaut? Yeah, the umlaut. Yeah, it's the umlaut. That's all it is. Just, I call it umlaut. And they're French. Yeah, but they're French. Right, it's a French punk band named umlaut. <laughs> That's it. What is, it's uh, just the two dots. Uh, That's it. Movement, is it the same as infantry? No, yeah, it's 2-1. Artie is 2 1. Oh, Horse one. artillery is 3 1. 3 1. Okay. Wait, that is the same as infantry. Duh. Sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> I just. 
Mathematics just is the, not... uh, the the other infantry. <laughs> I was hired for my looks, the which other is why I get paid French like meat. <laughs> when you visited the granary, Andres, was the little gnomish German guy still the curator? He's like my favorite guy. He's my second favorite guy we met on the entire trip. He was so in love just with being the curator of the granary at Essling and particularly the diorama there. And he was just so enthusiastic about showing people around. How was, could you not be? I'm telling you. And it's like, I, I, and well, and the other thing was there was a bunch of guys from the, my guess is Quantico who were doing it as part of a U.S. military tour, but they felt like FBI mm -hmm. to me. And he just wanted nothing to do with them, and he was very happy to stand over in the corner and chatter on in German with my wife and I. A really charming, oh, that's it for Sixth Corps. Charming guy. So you hit us up with an additional four dudes? Correct. Uh, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine total. Oh, geez, taking us to... Th 42... Belker, how Correct. are they doing? You may continue. Wow. 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 We got 12 yeah, dice. True. You got yeah, anything? it's true. You got anything else, Zeke? Uh, I've moved all my guys. <laughs> all right. So what was their total, Velker? Exactly 50. Wow. That's oh, wow. That's cool. above average roll. Okay. True. It's above average roll. Now, can you imagine you do it the way that Sam lays out in the rules? You'd, be, you'd have dice for days. Anyway. Be set. That that's crazy. Um, all right. So, is there any cannon fire in which the French wish to engage? That's the I only have thing. none. It's the only thing that's going to be in range. None for me. All right. What's uh, what's artillery range? Twenty-four. Yeah. No, not today. <laughs> not feeling it. All right. Not yet feeling it. All right. I, it was a, it was a long shot, and I wouldn't have done it because I didn't want to waste it. But don't want to waste my nice cannonballs that I brought with. They're expensive, eh, especially not of not from my guard heavy artillery. Oh jeez, yeah, no. All right, so that's it. Then let's advance the turns, please, to turn three. And if our friends the French could give the Austrians nine mo dice, I'll give it a roll. Yeah. All right. Do it. And Jim, do I need to roll for my uh, units to recover Elon still, or was that just the first turn? Just the first turn. That was checking to see how Thank they you. were feeling overnight. Now, you can right. take them now, back and rally them. You can right. take them back and rally them if they're 12 inches away, but that's an activation and it costs you. An individual activation, right? Exactly. It's got to be an individual activation. Yep. And you must be 12 inches away from You must be 12 inches away from any enemy. Austrians, you may go. How do you guys want to go? get a drink while this is going on? Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, uh, Peter, why don't you start off on the right? Because I may want to activate some individual units to go ahead and try to rally them a little bit. Get on right. sure yet. Again. Peter begins think with about some this. Uh, core activations. Mm -hmm. Away you go. Interesting. Ain't it, though? Okay, Andres, the fact that you've been, you've been to Austerlitz twice and have never made it to Albuero or Vitoria and you're in Spain really amuses me. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> I will activate the reserve core. Hit it. Okay. I'm going to independently move these. It's going to get a little complex here. Sure. Um... These can move on. These can move up to three. How much um, earth does this artillery unit need to fire on base with? Here. Actually, I think it's even a half base. So width. none of that can. Uh, there's no, nothing can interpenetrate that base with. Okay. Right. What are we at? How many viewers do we 18. have? We're got 18. 18 viewers. 18. Oh, we're going for 20. We are going for 20. Oh, we just lost one. Oh, of course. Where'd you go? We're back down Where'd you go? Some... Come back. Come back. Oh. Return. <laughs> we lost two. No. You, you jinxed us, Valkyrie. I'm 
sorry. I uh, that's so funny. So yeah, I mean, you don't, you can't, you can't shoot all that readily. If that's your question. No, I'm gonna. Oh shoot. That's not gonna work. Bear with me. No worries. Go ahead and do these guys then. I'm doing the I'm gonna move this unit and then move these guys next to it. Okay. Alright. That's fair. Well actually probably not fair. I'll do them individually. I'm going to pivot and move twelve. Alright. Oh that ain't nice. You should have to touch somebody. I didn't invite you to come over to play. Apparently, Red Rover. Red oh, Rover. Think about that. Hold on a second. Oh, I'll see. Nice having a say. I think I'm gonna. Oops, sorry. Excuse me. He cannot pivot it again. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna give him just six inches and pull him here. All right. I'm gonna do a complex. It's a complex. Mm -hmm. Oh, bother. Do I be a real... I think technically these guys were on the difficult terrain, so I'll do six. And the, uh, yeah, as long as you touched it. And it's actually half a base width, so it's an inch. you got to have an inch and a half to fire through. Got a complex with these guys. No, rally distance is 12 inches, yeah? Isn't it, Has? That's what I said. Has is not wrong. I know he's not <laughs> Oh man, you did Austerlitz before the Berlin Wall came down? Ugh. I traveled in Poland before the wall came down, no thanks. It was crazy traveling north from Vienna to Brunn, where we stayed, to see the border suddenly made friendly, because there was this huge gap between the Czech checkpoint and the Austrian checkpoint that was clearly intended to be a no-man's land. Events with the Iron Curtain. Yeah, I went to the. We went to Checkpoint Charlie last year, and in so doing, we uh, discovered it was, I believe, a concession owned by, uh, I believe, it's Indians. No. <laughs> we also saw a real life pickpocket. It was really scary. Yeah, that's true. We actually saw a pickpocket get caught too. Oop! Hold on a second. Let me fix that. Yeah, it was not a big move. <sighs> I think I'm done with that core. So that would have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight dudes. Move. Eight dudes. Velker, what you got? Let's see. These guys are going to stick to their rig. These guys. Mm -hmm. These guys are on a rig too. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do with any of y'all. Well, it's, it's, it's not the worst, you know. It's completely legitimate strategy. Let the, I'm gonna stick by where the I am. French come and get you. <laughs> come and fight, boys. All right, Mike, what you got? I think I'm going to try and rally some troops here. I know individual it's individual. Moves. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're certainly um, a good distance away. Holy cow, yeah. Yep. I'm so, going to go first here with the... Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Front rising. Yep. Guys. Okay. <sighs> One die. Three? Nope, oh, one just die. one? Yeah, this is... Now you're rolling one die to get one point back. Okay. And I nope. it. All right, so they're done. All right, All right, that takes us back around. That's just... That's a two-point activation. So we're at ten, obviously, with nine mono dice. It's highly unlikely you wouldn't have a chance to go again. So we come back over here to Peter. Okay, then. Um, good idea, advance. I am advancing oh, the Grenadier Corps. 
Well, he's chewing on that, just FYI, Jim. I'm mm -hmm. on GMT's website. Mm -hmm. The uh, Ancient Epic Edition has mm -hmm. made the uh, P500 reprint. Yeah, at how many? and how many, though? What's that? At how many? What's their count? Um, orders to date five hundred. So yeah. it made the it made the yeah, print, it's, which the, means it made the cut. It's going to get printed the twelfth of never. Yeah, I mean, I Commands of Colors Epic uh, Le Grand Battles, which is actually a new thing that nobody has and is well over seven hundred, isn't even on a serious list to be printed, much less delivered. It is, however, ahead of Mystery Wizard, so the world is just. <laughs> All right, so you move the guard core, which is another four. That takes us to 14. Mike, did you want to try to rally somebody else over here? Yes, please. Go ahead. Let's see here. Who else was down? We will go with uh, Von Rise's uh, other. All right, same roll. Back here. 1d6. Let's hope we don't get the same roll. You don't. You get a point back. Three. Now he can be no. You cannot rally him further. You can never get your last point back this way. <coughs> He's done well. So that was two more. So that was fourteen plus two, sixteen. May they continue? He said, not having. I'm sorry. What, what was that? That's sixteen. Can they keep going? Sixteen. Can they keep going? Yes. All right. Peter, you're up. Let the games begin. <laughs> I was going to say, let the game begin in earnest now. Mm. Okay, I might have to do this individually. Let's see, I'm assuming he is... Let me check his face. He is attached to the positional battery. That's kind of interesting. I probably should have rearranged that, but that's okay. Him? You can attach him to anybody, really. Yeah, you can put him anywhere you right, want. You, you have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it at the beginning of the movement before anything Correct. Moves, right? Correct. Yeah. All right. It's okay. It's okay for now. All right. Let's think about this. What do we got in the front here? Ooh, conscripts. <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they have the different colored flags of the Virgin Mary. Yeah, it's all they got <laughs> they're ready to surrender. <laughs> the, Mor the Morrissey Battalion. <laughs> yeah. Last night I, I just want to go have a cigarette and a coffee. That's a nice, strong black coffee. Mm -hmm. An espresso. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite songs from Jethro Tull is from a deadbeat to an old greaser. Mm -hmm. And the way it ends is my just my favorite, where the guy says, What are you talking about? I wasn't there. If you want a beer, just say yep. so. If you're trying to bum a beer. We're going to do a real, real interesting move here. I'm going to move the core three inches left. <laughs> Everybody in, who is watching this battle, what are they doing? Everyone take 17 steps to your left, please. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You may proceed. <laughs> All right. So that's, uh, oh my goodness. So that's another a whole one, lot of momentum two, used for a three, side step. Four, five, six, seven. Takes them to twenty-one. You got anything? You got another guy you want to try to to fix up there, Mike? Um, yeah. Take uh, these Hoosier hushers first. Okay. The Hooters, Schnellers. All right. Same die roll. And nope. Ah, it never rolled over, dang it. Twenty-three. All right. Can they keep going, Doug, at twenty-three? Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-three is I don't think we have anything else, do we? Is that it? Is that good? You done? Maybe the center. No, the center's happy. The center is the okay. center is anchoring its yep. flanks. Look at the center. Those are anchored flanks from the center. Yeah, they are. Alright. Very good. Is there any cannon fire from our friends, the Austrians? Oh, can I rally? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, you might, you know, rally, but okay. go for it. Where are you? Who are you, who are you calling on? Um, these guys. guys. Okay, Four. Yeah, you got them. Yep. And they, too, are done. All right. So that is 25. I assume you they can't can keep rally going anymore. Down. Yes. I don't have anybody else that I can rally right now. Everybody else is either maxed out or... or Roll already. Or has tried, so. yeah. 
All right, so that leaves us with any cannon fire, if you're so inclined. Uh... Because nobody's in musket range yet. Gentlemen, what do you think? Should I take a shot at these... uh... What you're saying, what you want to do. Joker, Peter. Go ahead is that, consider, shot is that considered inside the town? Because I don't think you can shoot outside out the town. That's inside town. Uh, oh yeah, that's definitely uh, inside town. I missed that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't have any artillery to Anything shoot. Anything else? Uh, okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. I don't think I have any to shoot. Either. All right, very good. That's it then. Um, please advance the turn to turn four. To turn the fourth. And I would ask the Austrians to give the French 12 mo dice. I'm not doing it this time, that's for sure. <laughs> He's not taking blame. Go ahead, Peter. Take the roll. We got 12 here. They're yep. set up, yep. I'm assuming. Hold mm-hmm. on, clearing it. Rolling it. Hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Doug. All right, Davu has Napoleon's excellent staff work. <laughs> so yet he's getting okay. it again. He's right behind <laughs> him. He's right behind him poking him. <laughs> Right, uh, That's why he's called the Iron Marshal. <laughs> <laughs> that's so depressing. I can't even think. Um, that's, that's that's so depressing. We're we're really gonna catch flack over this one. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah probably. Okay. Uh, the town is considered considered difficult terrain for correct. as well, right? So correct, correct. At the edge there. Oh, good. So uh, while the game is going on, the um, the our visitors are having travel chat. That's nice. That's, that's... well, you did start that. I, I well, I suppose. What he's talking about. <laughs> Oh, interesting. And Ian is telling us he used to work at a prison. That's 20. We are at 20. Ring the bell. Yay! Ding, 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 ding. We knew Vagram would get it done. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Our expectations are exactly that low. <laughs> <laughs> Well, why why start now? <laughs> We've been at this for over a... We just posted our... This is actually going to be our 51st Saturday Night Fight that's been posted, so... We've been at this for over a year. See what happens when Doug shows up? It, it, yeah, yeah, that's it. He's the, he's the rabbit's foot. Yeah. No doubt about it. I'm the draw. <laughs> we, we, we may have hit 25 or 30 if Haz would have played with us. That's, yeah, if Haz wouldn't have had mic, pro- mic problems, in quotes. Um, <laughs> who's, who's Mike? Yeah, who's... yeah? <laughs> well, it's sort of the same thing. It's the same thing about getting it from Napoleon, I think. Whoa. It's <laughs> saying. It yeah, oh, boy. Just because I am short does not. Oh, never <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, and and to Doug's point, he is the people are like, well, you know, we're not going to watch that. Wait, you didn't tell me that Doug was going to be on. <laughs> For God's <laughs> sake! Likes him. He's the crowd Turn off. <laughs> but then again, you know what? We should be have viewers in the millions because honestly, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen, we live in a world where they have secret singers in weird costumes. Okay, and that gets and, and that yes. gets rating. So I I, I apologize for nothing we do. <laughs> nothing. We are doing something 
aggressive for the human race. Yeah, this is better. This is somehow virtuous in comparison. You're, you're right. You're actually right. Okay, that's it for the booze court. Yeah, that, that, all that, because of that, man, that staff work thing is powerful. That was two. That people was two. <laughs> Ron, big dog, you're up. You got a situation okay. here. Situation here. Yeah, a little bit of a situation. All right, I'm going with uh, Masena score. Cool. I really wish they'd implement one degree turns. There's a way to do it. There's a way to do it. Uh, Paul Blankenship, and uh, to his great credit, has has pulled it down. There is a scripting tool, and what it does is it puts a turn tool up in the upper right of the screen, and you can turn by one degree increments. I've got to figure out how to implement it. Mm, yeah, it, you could do that via scripting. Yep. Yeah, he's, and it works. I've, I've poked at it, but I've got to figure out... It, it Like everything else in Tabletop Simulator, it's the additive property that confuses me. You know, you, you have it in one thing, but then you've got to add it to other things and not break the whole kit and caboodle kit. Oh, good. So my wife is in chat leading travel talk. Very good. So we're having an entirely separate seminar. Excellent. Two of the Ozarski family. Yeah, the Ozarski family is now pretty much entirely wrapped up in various aspects of the Polish <coughs> which I'm fine with, you know. You know who's not even well, When does that not happen? Right, that's true. I do drag these beautiful people. How, how is that not a normal Saturday night? Right, right. Well, look, I drag these people in August, to the middle of Bavarian farm fields that are still being actively used and say, this is awesome, and they don't have me committed, so that's love. That you know of. That's, <laughs> that's true. The paperwork is coming any day. You it's just it, delayed. It, it, <laughs> it, could, it could be that they actually are your caregivers. <laughs> What is this? The Dave Show? Is that was that the name of it? <laughs> right, exactly. I've heard I've heard weirder theories. So this is that flank march. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very cool. Where is McDonald? He's got to be here. Holy cow. You zoom you, in. I was like, you can't go that fast. And then I realized, holy cow, that's horse. Okay, very good. Yeah, yeah, he can. Yeah, what do you think the horseman is doing up on that ridge? So, suddenly we're using light cavalry like light cavalry. What? The what hell? The hell what you... is this? Get out. Get out. <laughs> well, you also notice he didn't attempt to charge the infantry frontally. <clears throat> huh. I'm going <laughs> to give him points on that. <laughs> I really should try and get a count of how many guys are out here. Let's see.
My wife and the My dog and are the watching. Are watching. Are watching. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's a good movie. That's a lot of. Eleven more. Right, Jim, eleven ele more. Yeah, eleven right, more. Eleven. So that's thir uh, a whole of thirteen to you, Doug. Sorry, it takes so long, guys. It's a lot of turning. No worries. Okay, so uh, I am activating seventh core for core activation. Oh, look at them. All right. Bavarians, four fifths. This is exciting, Giorgio. I hope you're watching. Um. So remind me, can they? They can. They can turn at the beginning. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, yes. the, the only difference. Uh -huh. The only difference is they can't turn at the end. Otherwise, you suddenly get a difficult move. Right. So away they go. I'm actually kind of emotional with the Bavarians on the march. Artillery is foot artillery is the same. Mm And this, by the way, is an actual, Giorgio did an actual regiment that was in this brigade. So these, these uniforms right here, on target. And, and very Bavarian. And they are Bavarian, aren't they? Very saucy. All of them with their little checky flags. I, I know, it's very nice. I like it. All right, you have done that. That was your seven core activation. Yep. So yep. that was two plus 11, which was 13 plus four more that's 17 what say you austrians can the french keep going austrians do i have to check i'll go look i'm looking now 17 yeah you're good keep going so that takes us back over to do 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 yep that's zeke go okay uh so I'm going across this river. This has my movement, correct? Correct. So this would be six. Mm -hmm. I thought you weren't supposed to cross the stream. Oh, wait, hang on. That's a different show. Why? We're still busting baddies. True. And busting makes me feel good. Wow. Round numbers, there are 1,280 miniatures on this table. Yeah, we'd Call have painted that, that in a couple that. of weeks, man. <laughs> <laughs> we'd have had this handled. <laughs> I think we need more. Gun. Nope. You know what? I take that back. I halved it. I halved it. There's 2,560. Really? There's 2,560. All right, maybe a month. <laughs> 2,560. And in scale, they're about 15 millimeter. Okay, that's it for the cavalry. All right, so that was 16. Uh, that was 16 plus, that's 21 over here to... Ba, 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 Ron. Oh, Ron. All right, I'm activating 9th Corps. What's 9th Corps going to do? Something crazy. Something wacky. Did 
doing? Uh oh. Uh oh. You are not going straight. Bonk. I think it's good enough. It's a hit. Very palpable hit. Got it. <clears throat> yeah, two thousand five hundred and sixty soldiers. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> The Saxons, they are engaging in a lovely dance. Look at them. Travel talk continues in the chat channel. I'll return to the game. Hmm. <laughs> I'm feeling feisty, huh? Just a little. And then perhaps not so much. All right. Okay. All right. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 31 to you, Doug. <coughs> I will... Uh... I will go ahead and activate 11 core. See, 11 core is activated. So the law. Le core owns. Ça marche. Ah! <laughs> Sur la ponte d'Avignon. L'on y danse, l'on y danse. Come on, you prats. Yeah, they're not too fond of where you're sending them. How's that? That's, that's got to be a three because you're in difficult. That's all the further they wanted to go anyway. So there, yeah. <laughs> Take that. And want to be there. I bet you're sorry you yelled about it. That's uh, 11 core. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Hey, uh, Austrians, 36? What do you think? Keep going. Ooh, keep going, 36. Hey, oh. check that total. Hold on. Go ahead. Yep, double check it. I'll check it for you. Hold on. You give me, let me <laughs> switch <laughs> teams. Yep, we keep, yep, we're good. Keep going. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. 
Maybe I'm not adding yep. it yep. the same. Yep, that's that's they can go. On thirty six. I never said Austrian's best point was counting. Thirty six they can well. thirty six they can go. Over to wow. over to Okay. Just watch these all move. This is such a massive friggin' battle. Biggest to that time. Yeah, you're right. Well, is it the, bigger than Borondino? Borondino is after this. Yep. And it's it's, right. small, it's and smaller it's, than. Well, it's, I was thinking time as you meant Napoleon. It's, no, it's smaller than, than no, it's then. smaller than Leipzig and it's smaller than Borodino. But it is also the battle at which Napoleon's method of command finally breaks down because it is so big. Because um, of what? It was it was so big. big. Oh. This is the largest. He doesn't really have a staff per se. Right. It's him sending. We'll do. Uh, teams. Go ahead. All of second corps. Oh, all right. Here comes that two corps. So it's just Tim sending messages out? Yeah, he is standing right here. And watching it through a telescope. He can't see the whole battlefield. No chance. Oh, at this scale, there's no way he can. And, no. yeah. and, and this fight right here that um, Zeke is starting <laughs> happens... <laughs> Happen, it, it happens under his orders, but essentially without him knowing what's going on until it's far too late. Because unlike a lot of the other guys he had faced before, these Austrians are no joke. They're not quite as good, especially, you know, core to core. The third core is the best core on the field, but there are some good troops out here. And for the rest of his life, whenever anybody would criticize the Austrian soldier, soldiery, he would respond, I know you were not at Wagram. Now, Doug or Jim, correct me if I'm wrong, but the Napoleonic battles was the first time that, that in Europe battles got to the size of some of the old ancient Chinese battles, right? Uh, Doug's got Mal. Well, how big is Mal? Pl how big is Mal Plaquet, Doug? Uh, it's uh, about a hundred thou. Okay, so it's big enough. These are. I was actually looking this up in preparation for this weekend. You've got this shelf of those ancient Chinese battles, which are the biggest battles in human history, both in terms of raw numbers and in terms of casualties. The Napoleonic Wars, though, in terms of... Because remember, all the World War II battles tend to be multi-day operations. But in terms of one or two day battles, these are right behind the battles of antiquity, those ancient Chinese battles. Mm -hmm. Right, but, but, but that's what I'm saying, though, is, is back, you know... BC era in China, they were fighting battles of 200, 300,000 yep. men. Yep, yep. And, and Europe didn't see anything like that really until until the Napoleonic right. era. You don't, you don't have the population. Right. Right, right, right. right. And you also you, don't, you have, don't have enough people. Like rabbits. <clears throat> and you don't have mass conscription either. You know, Napoleon's creation, or his use of the levee en masse is a big part of this. So you're all set, Zeke? Oh, that's it for second core. Yep. All right, shoots me over here to you, Ron. I am going individual individual activation. Go ahead. Oh hey. Who are those guys? I'm done. And Doug. Uh, I'm good. That's it. You're done. Very good. You guys were within three points when you started your last activation. <laughs> so, kind of figured that was the case. Yeah, that's 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 why there was that checking about that rolling. So, uh, any French artillery fire? Mm, not yet. No. Anybody? Anybody? I anybody? Don't Okay. 
All right, we're good. All right, then. That takes us now to turn five. I want to advance those turns, please. This is the turn on which the Austrian Third Corps arrives in the reinforcement phase, which is, of course, at the end of the turn. But uh, in the means to while, if the French would be so good as to give the Austrians their modice, nine in number. Poor favor. Done. All right, we'll show the nice folks at home that number. Here's Velker. All right, Austrians, uh, want to do it the same way? You want to start over on uh, Peter's flank? Go from there. Sure. Peter, you're up. I shall begin. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. time out, time out, time oh, out. What, 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 what? We still have my horse fight to do. Oh, my gosh. There's a oh, melee. Oh, yeah, 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 there's yeah. A melee. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's, yeah. Actual, <laughs> there's actual bloodshed? What? Combat. Combat. Ah! We... <laughs> We thought this was a dance. <laughs> fighting. Mm -hmm. so it's time it to get like fighting. Seven on seven. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah, seven on seven. Seven on seven. That's it. All right, hold on. Let's find my dice here. Boom, boom. There's also. Boom. A is it a seven on seven or yeah. is it a seven on six? No, he's got. He's a it's seven. A he's the defender. Shock. Is a seven. Right. It would have an eight, but he's defending. But he's defending. And he over here is a seven, but he's a got. He's a usual six because he's got that casualty. But he's got shock. Oh, uh, uh, but he's got seven. shock, right? Yep. So and I rolled horribly. Uh oh. Three of five. Uh oh. Three of five. Uh. Uh. Mm mm. That's uh -uh. Mm -mm. that's one of five. One of five. That's three to one. <laughs> Jesus. Three to one. So. All right. So three to one. Where's the casualty? There it is. Let me give me a second. Give me a second, please. Hands away, please. Thank you. I gotta mark this. So that takes current Alan here to five. You go back. You're gonna have to go way back, facing the wrong way. Uh huh. And then he takes one hit to five. Did you already? Did I you already give me out. I've decremented here. you. Right. And you gotta go back. That's six inches, which is gonna yeah. Which I'm just going to pretty much take me here, right? Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. And you uh, may advance in the space if you wish, Ron. And he does. Interesting. You may not make contact. Oh, you don't. Very good. Well, right. you don't. Very no, good. it then. might. Uh, no, it's yeah. not. Close, but... All right, so the first. I'm not touching you. Not touching you. Not touching you. you. Not touching you. Not touching you. Wow, look at that name. Fightitzich is not touching you. He wants to, but he can't. All right, so Doug. I'm sorry, why did I? Okay. Uh huh. Just to be fair, why did why did I only go down two? It was it was three to one, correct? Three hits to one hit? I thought it was only five to one. I thought it was it's fours, fives, and sixes, isn't it? It is, yeah. What did you roll? Yeah. I only had one six. Right, but he Is this what so, you rolled? Is this your roll? Oh, it is? Yeah. One, yeah, two, that's my roll. Ah, horrible. Five. Ooh, I I was told three. That's what. Yeah. Five, yeah, seven. no, it's five. So that's four. Yeah, yeah he yeah, got yeah. he got roundhoused. Oh. He got he got Patrick Swayze. Uh, <laughs> roundhouse. The, Sa roundhouse. the Saxons are roundhouse. not messing around. <laughs> they're not. They're just roundhouse. We are roundhouse. not messing. The they shined the their armor this morning. They did. Oh. Yeah, and, for, and sharpen their pointy little swords. Yeah, they're pointy. No, are those, are, those are not who's Oh, no, they're spears. Oh. Those are heavies. Oh, no, those are heavies. Caressiers. Uh. It's all right. We got a little present for them. You do? Oh, no, they are swords. Oh, yeah, they got straight swords. They're using those. Yeah, they're not they're lancers. They're not lancers. Yeah, they sharpen their pointy swords. All right, so Doug gave you're, them... You're about to eat some uh, canister there, buddy. <laughs> you guys are... I know I am. But, oh gracious! You know what? Oh gracious! All right, so there's that. Right, just, so there's that's that's what cavalry do, I guess. Um, um. I just want to punch him in the mouth for a second. So we, we we were paused. Doug had rolled their dice. Their dice are over here. We have routed a unit of horse, but we return to Peter and ask him to do something, please. Okay. Uh, 
I could do a lot worse than sounding like Heinrich from A Bug's Life. Thank you, Bandit Brant. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a lot to be said for that. <laughs> oh, I see. That's funny to you, huh, Red? That's funny. Very good. I understand. Hey, why isn't Brant joining us tonight? I'm activating the sixth core. Why isn't Haz Ooh. joining us? Well, Haz had tech difficulties. He's excused. Brant is not. Where's six core? Mike was there throwing you. a fit tonight. Haz couldn't this, make it. This core over here. I'm on the flank. Oh, shoot. That's where that is. <laughs> That's right. You're wait. I'm sorry. It is a 40. Um, it's an 80 foot square map. I ask permission. I ask forgiveness. Go ahead. This is within 45 degrees, correct? This, this cavalry unit here. Uh, oh, I feel, oh, I feel comfortable about that, yeah. Well, look yeah, at it perfect. this way. If you do three notches, to every turn using it without the nice thing is 15 degrees. So if you notch it three times, you know you're good. Yeah. That's that's it. Bonk. There's the bonk. That's going to be an uphill. It's to bonk. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a hill. I was seven with, oh, damn it, I don't have shock, but oh well. It's all right. No, it's all like one. Cav. Yeah. This is your who's this is Hussar. This is a very manly fight. This is Hussar versus Hussars. Hussars. Are they going to use their rapier wit? I hope so. Doug, did you see the uh, <laughs> cavalry charge? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the weakness. <laughs> yeah, the, we the weak the redheads. The, yeah. the weakness of dragoons. I forget what it was. Skirm no, the 95th Rifles. That was it. And the right. And it the was, weakness it was, of Kirassos yes. Infantry in Square. The weakness right. of Hussars? Redheads. Redheads. <laughs> you know, and, and as I said in my tweet, can confirm. Actually, these guys are doing a simple move, so they should come up here. Mm -hmm. These guys are sim complexing here. So the fight for Brighton Lee is on. And for the record, since I did post his picture, um, LaSalle dies right about here. <laughs> I believe this core has moved. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Mo. Seven, Mo. <laughs> seven, seven, Mo. Now to Curly. No, there ain't no Mo. Seven in the center for you, Velker. You moving anybody? Yes. Who are you moving? I, if I can. I don't know if I can, but I guess we'll see. Be away for just a second. I'll be right back. Right. Making sure that he's in range. Yeah, you can't shoot him this turn if you move him. But oh, no. I thought we talked. I thought we said that if you just rotate, that you could still shoot. Oh, that's right. That's <sighs> no, I thought because no, I thought we, I thought we did, I thought we said that we couldn't because I rotated and we couldn't, I couldn't shoot. Yeah, but I thought Has spoke up a little bit later and said we could. But he'll, I'm okay, sure if he's be. listening, if he's listening, he'll 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 let us know. Yeah, if Jim doesn't give us the answer. Like, uh, units that moved in the movement phase what? may not fire. A unit that was activated right. but did not move may fire. Okay. Right. That's for preparation's we, sake, really, more than anything. Well, it's, I'm, I'm looking at it in the fire phase, though. Oh, I'm sorry. Hasbro corrected. Rotate is a move, he says. There so, it is. Okay. okay. So that's it. And, and maybe we, we may have done that backwards. Maybe we had rotated before and shot, and then he corrected us that we couldn't rotate and shoot. So, so. we are still waiting. For some for reason, I kind of remember he, he had spoken up at one point about that. So we are waiting for Velker. He's going to See what the difference is with the pivot? The pivot does not count against the unit's movement allowance. That's also so true. So can these two switch over here? What you can yeah, who do you want to switch? Show me. Yeah, just from a um, distance. Oh, whoa, 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 where are you? Jeez, you moved on me. Uh, so you want to move this horse? This guy and this guy, can they switch? Yes, at the end of the day, you can do that. As long as you've got the move, and you do. So you can do this, and you can do that. Yep. Counts as two. All right, that's it. So seven, eight, nine over here to the left. That you might. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this artillery unit in town back out. Mm -hmm. Come straight back three inches because I think that's the maximum I can move. Correct. Is he considered out of town or is he touching just you're, enough to you're be in good. town? You're out. You're out. Okay, that's fine. All right, and I think these guys. That's all I needed to do with that core. Actually, I take it back. 
Do I need to prepare these guys? I can yep. prepare these guys in oh, the yes. village, right? Yep, mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and prepare. Uh, yeah, I was hoping you would forget well, to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, and I was trying to remember, too, while I was waiting. Does preparing in town against infantry do any good? I couldn't remember. Oh, yes. Yep. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Believe me. Yes, yep. big time. <laughs> yeah. If, wait, cause remember, Trust me, you, yes. Remember, you, you got they, He's got to come fight you out of there. He can't shoot you out of there. Yep. And when he comes so. to fight you, it gets gross. Yep. Uh, so go ahead and prepare them both. All right. Yeah, this is what I was talking to you about when Doug and I played Osper Nestling. It made me angry. And I might as well go ahead and prepare these front three units over here, too. The bridge line for now. So that means they're in square. It, it means it, it Sam specifically says it doesn't I I don't want to argue with the guy that wrote the rules but I'm not sure what else it means for guys that aren't in a town right you know it's it does it's like they're refusing he says it's like they're refusing their flanks they're doing all sorts of stuff in the brigade space but I get that if you're in a town because you're throwing up abatis and doing whatever else. But if you're standing here on a hill, I agree with you. I, I, I don't know what else you're doing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that it does you much good if you're not in a town, right? Well, if you're not in a town and if you're not being attacked by a cavalry, it matters a great deal. Right, yeah, that, that's right. That's what right. I mean, if you're not being attacked by cavalry. Right. Yeah. So, um, so, so we had nine, and now we have ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. I ask the French with 15, may the Austrians continue. They may. Well, what? Go ahead, Peter. Wait, wait. You had a question, Doug? No, they may. Oh, they may. 15. Yes. Peter, you're on. I will activate those grenadier. Oh, the grenadier call will not move. Yeah, they will. <laughs> We throw Frank Brothers at you. Okay, here we go. Yeah, probably just simple it. Uh oh. The uh the watchers have now they they have now started drinking. So, alright. This is <laughs> <laughs> And amazingly it's, it, it's your wife. That's not that amazing. <laughs> I, wow. I, I, I adore my wife. Oh. I, she's a better yeah, person. Yeah, because she me. just said that she's going to bring you your cocktail. Huzzah. Hopefully for you to drink and not pour over your head. Mm, that, takes, <laughs> that, takes, that, takes nine, that takes us to 19. And that takes us to the yes. center. Velker, anything else? What do you got? Uh, let's see. I think I do have something else. Well, there's no point to not prepare, right? Well, yeah, there can be, because you're more vulnerable to artillery fire if you're prepared. I'll just stay where I am and not waste my teammates at all. All right, you're the man that way. 19, that takes us over here to you, Mike. All right, I'm gonna go go maximum of three, right? Mm-hmm. You're doing yeah. that. Oop! I'm sorry. Shit! I think I moved your cavalry by accident here. Sorry. I have a sticky mouse today. Go. All right. There's those two. Oh shoot! Sorry. Even worse. Need help somewhere? Yeah. Just need to fix his cavalry here. I had a sticky mouse that kind of grabbed his. Yeah, I think that's right. That's we... right. I think that's right. Let me move just a little hair. I think he's right. Yeah. Do you mind You are touching my cavalry. You read. I, I just rotated <laughs> those guys 90 degrees. All right, so that's. Uh, they looked very shiny. 20, 21, 22, 23. Yep. I'm just trying to decide. Oh, 
with Jack Daniels. All right. 24-25. Yep. And that's it. All right. At uh, uh, We were doing that that way. Yeah. So at 25 Austrians, or a French, may the Austrians continue. They may. That's you, Peter. The reserves shall move. The reserves shall move. All right. Uh-huh. These guys are still in contact, though, right? They're not in contact, but they're in that engagement space. Or they, like this unit right here cannot pivot and hit, correct? They're already hit. Is that correct? No, they're not. No, this that, one. No, that, they, this guy not can pivot. But he, can pivot. He, he can pivot. He, he, he can pivot and charge. He can pivot and charge. Uh, ah, yeah. Uh, this and then one, this, this guy is, pivots and charges. That's fine. This is one of those cases where even though, yeah, that even though these bases should be deeper. Remember that. You know, we got to call close ones in favor of that because these should be literally twice as deep. Okay, so that's those two. Mm -hmm. 26, 27. All right, now, technically, <laughs> again... All right, now I need to move these damn. I'm going to get that cavalry out of the way here. I'm going to do a simple move with these cavalry right, right here. Although they are engaged there, would they not be? This guy was being engaged. Is this correct? Uh, no, I don't correct think. Assessment? No, this, 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 these guys intervene in that. I don't so think these that, guys can do a, yeah, yeah, they're, a simple move. Right. Which would take them. You can't do that. No, they can't no, pass. That, you can't, can't pass. Through, you, that, you can't pass through your enemy. That but I can do this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come at me. <laughs> so we have an Austrian cavalry charge on our hands. Yes, sure. That, that that didn't happen. Okay. Actually, it did. Actually, it did. I take that back. Everyone's talking about their drinks. I got Fanta. All right. Yeah. Felker's got Fanta. <laughs> Fanta, Fanta. All, all this what flavor? Through. Orange. Straight up. Ah. Uh, the good stuff. You need to get you to tr you need to get you hooked on Big Red. So you good, Peter? I think so for that. Yep. Okay, so that's twenty. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I still have these artillery. Hold on. I pause. Okay. I'm just I am gonna move artillery because I can't fire anyway. Thirty-two, thirty-three. Jeez, are you just gonna fire through that tiny gap? No, no. You need a half a base width. Okay. You can only go three though. Four. You're right next to my batteries. Hey, bud. How's it going? What's up, buddy? Oh, now I can't shoot him because you got in the way. Oh, my one combat. Yeah, but this is going to double this guy. All right. Um, and this guy can rally, actually. Is that correct? Because this guy, because there are no enemies that can see him. Is it line of sight or is it just distance? I think it's distance. I think it's both. Let's go check. Let's have a look. Mind. Rally. Let's rally. There it is. <laughs> well, it must not be within six inches anyway. Must be within six inches of any of enemy unit. Any enemy unit. He's good then. He's six point two. Uh, where are you measuring from? He's fi that. Oh, yeah. sorry, that dude. I apologize. Yep. yep. Oh, oh man, yeah, that is a that. Yeah. But you can't. Do I need to roll. He, no, you can't because that's an individual activation. You can't do it in a core move. That that I know. Yes. Uh, well, can I later not activate him and do it? Yeah. When later. Do I still have act? No, yeah. because once you've switched to, 
you've got to do this core activation. It, we yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I understand. All the other moves and then, so mm -hmm. we came in yeah, here. Yeah, so just... Yeah. Do we have any other core movement? 33, 34. Yeah, we had 34. So there were 34. You're done? Uh, they, he would still get to go because they, we, they get to go through the whole group. So now you guys know right. you're done. Velker, you're done. You didn't want to do anything. Mike, you get one thing to do. Yep, yeah, I'll just try to uh, rally one of these guys. Okay. This one here. Okay, so actually something actually cost them. Well, uh, this guy cannot be rallied. He's already at his. He's already at his five of six. Which one? This guy here is at five of six. You can't rally from that. <gasps> oh, yep, yep. You're right. Okay. Uh, this guy can't. All right, then I'm done. This guy. Can't. Yeah, but I moved him. Oh, okay. I, I moved those. All right. Every, everybody else, I moved. So. Okay, that's it. Uh, cannon fire for the Austrians. Now hold on. Do I have any other ammo? Mm mm. Modus uh, ah, Shizen. Mm -hmm. That's that's. I I knew you were close. I didn't know how close. That's why I made a big deal out of that. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Um. So. Right, so cannon fire. Cannon fire and musketoon fire. Okay, it's not a musketoon. I, think I like I saying a musket musketoon. Fire. You got musket. So fire? my cannon over here moves. So let's just move down. I got line. cannon so no. fire. That guy's back of the hill. You can't shoot him, but you can shoot him if he's... Uh, yeah, he's out of range. Unfortunately, he's out. This is the only guy that you guys can see. So I can hit him. So we got a fire there and a uh, cannon there. All right, so let's... You, you guys just tell me, tell me what you want to do. Let's go okay, left I got right. an artillery just fire back. here. Yep. Positional battery A. Okay, who's he going to shoot at? Uh... Great liqueur. Is that I'd go for the L on seven guys. He, he can't see him. I, I can't see him. Oh, said. yeah, you're correct. Sorry. So let's take a look at that real quick. He's got it. He's got, he's got it. it. He's got it. Yeah, he's got, he's it. got it. So that's long okay. range shot. It is a five. So five, no bonus. Five dice, no bonus. Oop. Not one dice, five dice. Yeah, I just. I count that one, so only a five. Nothing. Oh. Yep. Boom, but nothing. Ammo reduced. Where else? This guy can't. I don't have anything else to shoot with. No, he can't shoot. Well, he moved. Yeah. Anything? That leaves us with our melee. So the question is, that would be right how here. He, he's got to divide up his dice. So the first thing is, dear Saxon friend, you have a total of five dice, so you got to split them. Who gets two, who gets three? I'm sorry, say that again? I thought he, we counted, I thought we we added these dice together against that. Is that what they, I thought he had to allocate dice. No, no. I thought it was, I thought it was this. All this. Is it all in No, all the way you allocate... All yeah, the way you allocate... No, actually, I do, because it's two different bases. Yeah, the Saxons yeah, the have to allocate have to dice. I have, I have no, to allocate no, dice. No, 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 the, the attacker allocates dice if he's going... This yeah. is a multi-allocator. Yeah, the attacker allocates. Okay, so you're right. You're right. So, oh, okay. So it is, but I'm just curious how we figure out hits between the two. Cause it's the no, we just add them together. Yeah, but I'm saying, let's... When you get a... Oh, that's right, but... You're ahead. But let's say hypothetically he beats you. I realize it's unlikely. But let's say he beats right. you. How do you split up the hits? Evenly? I think. I think you do it evenly. That's all I'm asking. I think. Well, let's go look it up. Let's go look up because I know there's it's explicitly. I yeah, I was going to say. It's not, it's not like Sam keeps it a secret. No, I, I thought it was pretty explicitly. Um, hold on a second. Here we go. Let's find it to be sure. I don't want to. Yeah. The way we've done, been doing add. it and is better. We just add the dice up and then. Yeah, has says two each if attacker loses. Right. Exactly. Oh, each that's, each that's, unit that's, would that's suffer right. two. It's not a ratio. It's not a ratio. They just take right. the two. That's right. right. So okay. if I lose on the yeah, on the so rare occasion eight, that I'll lose this, eight, and I tell you what, 14, I have lost these doubles in the. Okay, so Fourteen six. to five. Correct. Ouch. I got three. three. Mm -hmm. 
to alive? Well, there's more than three there. Oh my god, <laughs> there yeah. was. How many you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to three, five. How much Alon? I think that's all of his. Yep, that's all yes. of Alon. Yep, yep. He's gone. Ooh, he is gone. And he may, one of those units may advance into the space. And that yeah. is a decrement to the French morale, taking them to 29. Ooh. Oh, no. Bump, bump, bump. And I can go, I can go three inches. Three inches. Correct. Now, do they each take three, or what's, how's that go? What's it? I take one each. Yeah. Each one, oh, each one of those guys inch. takes one. Yeah, that's that's Just one of sure. the if Blue, if Blucher has a uh, has a crit, cr, p, something that people criticize, it is that we go current Alon, I should say. It's that attackers always take damage, and there are people who criticize that because it says it discourages mm. attacking. Uh, uh, well, yeah. oh shit! I, don't, I think it's pretty realistic. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think it's pretty realistic, man. Oh, you, I, I agree. Uh, too. You're gonna I, lose. I, I think it's like you know. Some yeah, I was gonna say, what do you think happens? <laughs> you know, and I think I think they I think they give you the dividend on the other end. Too. If you lose, it's only two. I mean, I think that that's more than a dividend on it. You know. To be fair, yeah. All right, good. So that was the one <coughs> battle. Anything else? No other melees, correct? Uh, yeah, one still yes, up here. One more. The, Where is yes, it? Up Sorry. Here. Oh, yeah, down here. Up here on the right. Yeah, we have a six on six. six. Mm -hmm. I'll six be five seven. on six. You're coming up the hill. Six on six. He is a seven. He's a seven. I am a lot seven. A lot seven. Oh, I'm sorry. Six I'm on sorry. six. Come on, you got this. Look. Bam. Four. Ooh, three. Four at you. Same. Four both ways. So. Four. Four. No, it's four. Three. Goes to the defender. Oh, it's four. Four three Dalinor. Okay, so Dalinor loses. Okay, so Dalinor he takes one and he retreats. One, he retreats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one and you got to face. The, let me get this real quick. <laughs> Five. Good fight. Turn yourself around and go back six inches, please, Ron. <clears throat> Zoom. He's so fast. You don't know how fast he is. Until you find <laughs> out he's going the wrong way. Some circus music for there. That spin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a flying elephant comes over. And now you, uh, you Peter, get to advance into the space if you wish. I. Hmm. And you cannot pivot in the advance. It's just a straight advance. Straight ahead. <laughs> I might, based on what's coming in. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, now they're making booze snacks. Very good. Booze snacks? Yeah, there are booze snacks. Too. <laughs> that Sna snacks appropriate for eating while drinking booze. Oh, I thought you were like making booze into snacks. Into snacks. Well, there you go. Like, how are you well, ask it could be either or. Ask, ask any adult. Booze is a snack. <laughs> like, are you caramelizing? That's my snack food? right now. Chips? True. Is that all Malay? I think it is. Yeah, right. Everybody else done? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody done? All right. What about over? Nothing over here? Okay. No, I think we're good. So it's status phase, right? So my reserve, come on. Yeah, that's correct. Here they come. <clears throat> all right. So I do want to do this correct yeah. to how you interpret it. Um, all right. So I'm assuming I need to come in within this correct. area. Correct. And I can, I mean, okay. So I'm going to. Rules are here, be a jackass, aka. Ah. All right, so technically, I could move the entire core in along this line, correct? Or is there a limit? I mean, how do you interpret the rate? It's it because this this is not a um, an enemy held objective, right? So that correct. that that would not that would not keep me in any way. Okay, so let's just go through the rules. You, you place right. what you do. You know, you place their front edges against the correct sector's table edge. You may place as many of them as may legally fit flush against that edge with others flush behind them in any sequence you wish as they are waiting to get on. They may not be played... Yeah, you're not there. As you place So, them in effect, I could... Go ahead. 
So I could do this. Now, yep. there really is no difficult terrain here. So well, technically... And, and you come on six inches. Right, but but technically I could bring in... Okay, and again, just yeah. call me out. But I could bring in the entire core if Absolutely. I had to. Yeah. Absolutely. Is there any... Do I need to cut the difference here? Like, in other words, do I need to use the road as the center line? Do you all... I I don't. You know what I'm I don't. I understand what you're saying. I don't feel that. I mean, it. It to me, it's going to inconvenience you if you put them too far off an axis. I mean, if you want to bring them on right. a wall, but given the importance in Blucher of reserves, there, there's a consequence to doing that. All right. Here, I'll do this. How about this? Is that legal? See what you're doing. Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. That's yeah. It. That's it. You might want to make this exactly 4-4 four, four, just to make it. But yeah, you want to come in that way, I'm fine. Um, yeah, that could And, that, and it I seems guess. to me that as you're approaching in columns, somebody's going to yell out, hey guys, Gerisdorf is there, bear to the right. Right, exactly. So this is, I just wanted to, to be absolutely legal here. No, okay. I'm, I'm good with that. All right. All right, so this is, again, coming on, but I come on six inches six? from there, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. In... Just come straight in, and these guys are concealed. I don't. Yeah, we don't. We have not played with the concealed markers, which Sam seemed. Uh, I have. Very, so I, these guys still can reserve. Absolutely. At, at least within twelve inches of this this yeah. guy right here. Mm -hmm. All right, that's for next round though. Yep. Wish we had like a, a little concealed token, but that's fine. Everybody knows that that's. All right, I think that's everything from status phase, correct? I should think. Deck army morale. Yeah, everybody's good. And roll the ammo. All right, first, everybody, please advance your turn markers. We find ourselves on turn six. Repeat, turn six. Will the Austrians please give the French 12 modice? Sure. A sudden, a sudden cri de coeur from the young man. OJ. Dudamus. I right. am impressed. All right, so Doug. Thank you. Will you slap down some magic? <sighs> yeah, boy. You yeah, believe boy. in magic. So, do. You, you got, got it. You got some magic, brother. You do. Yeah, you got that thing. <laughs> you got so, Napoleon's thing, buddy. I'll activate the use it well, four, which includes I think these guys. They're all in command range. Correct? Oh yeah, there. It's it's. Remember, it works on a chain. So okay, so all right. That's well. It doesn't matter how many I guess, but I'll do everybody, including these three. That's just such a man. Napoleon's ability is huge. All right. I'm just getting a case of the weirds. I'm going to save this game. sure how far these guys are. <laughs> sort of, kind of, very, but not quite. It is too bad you can't shoot out, out of a town. I actually like that rule a lot. I think unless you're doing it at a very tactical level, it makes no sense mm -hmm. to let people do that. And, and it's and it's revenue for the fact that you gotta go you gotta go in there and melee them out unless you're gonna bombard them. 
that's another thing yeah. Blucher is criticized for is that you can't shoot into or out of the town. And like at this scale, eh, go get go dig them out. Yeah, you're not you're not doing it. Yeah, you know, what do you what what do you think you're gonna do with volley fire against people that are hiding in houses? Right. I mean, they're in there firing out of loopholes. I mean, you, you can't do anything. I mean, you can keep her head down. Sure, sure. If if your point was but, to suppress them, sure. But right, but but that's already simulated by the fact that they're in there and you know prepared. They can't really do anything, so. That's why they can't I, I, fire back. Yeah, I, I wasn't meaning so much the rule. I just meant in general. It's too bad I can't because right now these guys are trying to cross the, the creek. <laughs> they make nice right. targets. Right. But again, and that's that's the thing I kind of love about it in terms of the scale. You get this wonderful image of this mass of men. I mean, you're talking thousands upon thousands of guys bearing down on noisy little and you got these two brigades that are just clutching their muskets and, like Doug said, peeping out of loopholes and hoping like hell they can hold this place long enough. It's a great story. It's a great story. Particularly these guys of uh, Louis and uh, who do you put in front? Le Cours Brigade that want nothing to do with this right now. <laughs> I mean... Sir, was there a was there a plan B, sir? Can I ask? Was there a plan B? Oh shoot! And I I want to give you a chance to undo this if you want to, Zeke. Oh. Remember, horse What's can't that? cross these streams anywhere except bridges. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay, I'll I'll pull him back. Are you sure about that? That's what it said. I thought it was artillery that couldn't. Oh, uh, maybe. Let me, well. Fair question. Let me have Infantry and cavalry, I thought, could. Let me see. I have a look at the map. Up on the... Oh, yep. Doug is correct. Only artillery. You're fine. My apologies. Okay. Uh, that's it for... Well, I'll bring the move forward. Um, that's it for third core. All right. And just so you know, as was pointed out earlier, I think it was by Peter... The way you move commanders, you're allowed to attach a commander to anybody you want at the start of a turn if okay. you wish. And then you're, that's supposed to be as your first movement. You just stick them wherever you want to. He okay. doesn't, he's, he's, right, a, you can, he's a center of gravity. Right. You can either move him, what, 12 inches, right. or you can move him off map, which would then allow him to go to the other side of the battlefield, for example, the following turn. Right. right. So, in other words, he can go off and then back on, but he can't. He can't jump over. He can only do 12 inches right. if he wants to stay within region. Except Napoleon, okay. of course, who can helicopter any bloody place he wants. No, I didn't know that. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, well, well, no, I mean, the, 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 the C and Cs the can go wherever they want. You, when you've placed your C and C marker, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you're, you're right, you're right, after you're right, they've right, used right. their power, you pick them up. It's just we've left Napoleon there because apparently he and Devu are having a thing. Um, all right, so that was a grand total of two points. Look, I, Lon isn't here. <laughs> Lon died a couple months ago. Um, so, yeah, we'll come over here, I suppose, to the left and say, Ron, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Masena's using uh, his Vigorous. Oh, all right, let me mark that into his tooltip. All right, and so Vigorous... <clears throat> Masena uses lightning. It's super effective. <laughs> that is not what he does. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you are playing the banner of the maid again, which I recommend. <laughs> Have any of you guys played Banner of the Maid? The Napoleonic one? No. Is this the is this anime the... Yes. Napoleonic game? Yes. No, I saw people talking about it. I am it. telling I you, I am yet. telling you, when you're really maybe had a few drinks or some such or other, it is the best. I have it as the banner behind my profile picture on Twitter. Uh, it's Murat. It's, it's Murat, who is just so Murat in this game. And his quote is... <laughs> is, is it actually a fun game aside from the... Like, um, it's a very like, light... If you like the JRPG tactics games, it's a very light version with sort of Napoleonic stuff in it. It's well worth it's it funny. if you can okay. get it for less than 10 bucks, which I did. 
Um, but okay. the, just for the privilege of having Mora be Mora and say, what on earth is this young lady talking about? It sounds exactly like Napoleon's speech, but it does sound somewhat exciting. <laughs> Scar contest. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing. That's <laughs> at one point they're dressing Lon's wounds because one of Lon's abilities or disabilities is he's always getting wounded. <laughs> that seems accurate. It does. <laughs> Can confirm. They're they're dressing Lon's wounds, and Mara comes in and goes, "You didn't tell me there was going to be a scars competition." I always win, and then the, and then the direction is starts taking off all clothes. To which the the lead character says, "Would you please stop?" <laughs> okay, I moved one, two, three, four, five. Five. You moved five guys on top of the two, which is seven. Doug, it is seven to you, please. All right, we are activating our barbarians. Oh, that hat. What's that hat at? With five. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's oh, right. I'm sorry. You, uh, that's right. Have is five. Is that two. goes yeah. three, right? So that, two. No, it goes two. to two. Okay. It goes to two. So four to you, Doug. Because that was very... Yeah. He, he was just very vigorous. He was. What? I've, I've long said without, that about Messina. Without, without, without uh, Napoleon's thing. Yeah, without Napoleon's thing, he was nonetheless vigorous. All on his own. Proud of him. Messina is vigorous. <laughs> Seven core. Uh oh. Here come the Bavarians. Really? Woohoo, you saucy Bavarians. You know, Ross McGee, you're a good man. I love everything about this map. Those guys were yeah. actually supposed to be realistically turned there, but there you go. There we go. Yeah, these guys are going to do a uh, complex move. Oh, very well. Just because they want to line up nicely. Von Pricing. Von Pricing. All right. Them's my Bavarians. Well, that was a grand total of eight. Given the fact that you're rolling 12 dice, you're probably good. Eight dice over to you, Zeke. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate the cavalry division out here on the flank, D5 here. Got it. Hey, Mike, there are French people there. I see. For how long? <laughs> long enough, Smarty. I'm, I'm guessing a good long time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 over to you, Ron. All right, activating ninth. Nine core is activating. That's them Saxons. Bonk. I'm preparing the oh. Saxons. All of them? Some of them? Just all the guys in white. All the guys, all four? Yep. Um, actually, no, just these two. 
Just the outer two. Outer two? I'm sorry. So, I'm, okay, go ahead. That's fine. So, 13, 14, 15, 16, you're up. Oh, I'm not done moving. Oh, I, no, 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 I'm saying, I'm, I'm just, I'm just counting. I gotta keep track. Seventeen, eighteen. Okay, yeah, I will prepare this other one. Nineteen and twenty. That's it. Twenty to you, Doug. Uh, 11 core is activating. Very good. <laughs> my wife just appeared in my uh, in the game room with a uh, bottle of Diet Coke and the one liter bottle of Jack Daniels we keep downstairs. This must be what she meant You're by lying. this must this must be what she meant by booze snacks. <laughs> Did you see earlier? My tabletop did. simulator froze up. I might have to. Uh, I might have to exit and come back in the room. Max, All right. We're not going anywhere. Okay, I'll be right back. Do what you got to do, man. Twenty-five. All right, service ninth core or eleventh core. Oh, the eleventh core has moved, leaving twenty-five. Hey, Austrians, how does twenty-five look? You're good. All right. We got, uh, do we got Zeke back yet? I'm loading oh, back yeah. in. I'm going to activate a uh, second core. All right. We'll wait for you. I'll oh, focus. Here we go. Focus in on second core. There they Oh, yeah. This is the party everybody wants to watch. Oh, no. Now I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh,. So these guys the right bat here are, signal. <laughs> are these guys um, considered at the crest of the ridge, uh, this second brigade of uh, Lorenz here? Lorenz, yes, they would be able to fire from there, yes. Okay, I'm going to leave them where they are, mm -hmm. bring this brigade forward just a little. going to do the limited movement, the three. Mm -hmm. 26, 27, 28. Not going to move him. Do. I'm going to do a limited six inch movement with mm -hmm. guys. Want to stack them in here. That's a whole 29. lot of French. Oh, yeah, it is. Und it's a whole lot of targets. It is also that. That is dreisig. I do dreisig. Nine? Spin him. Uh, 
leave him be. All right. As long as he's in... Just there. He was there, remember, he moved. He's fine. Oh, right, right, okay. Um, you yeah, sit for second core, then. That's it. That's 31. 31. Einund Reisig is what was moved. So therefore, we come over here to Ron with 31. Individual move. Go for it. No way you're getting that unit. <laughs> Just come blowing out of here, Stetton. <laughs> With screams of Yves L'Empereur. It is moralized. It is. It is. That's <laughs> That's not a poor point. in the backfield. All right. Individual movement. That takes us to 33. Doug in the center. Uh, I'm good. All right. So we ask our friends, the Austrians. The French are at 33. What do you say? They got some more. They got some more. Zeke, you're up. I'll do another uh, core activation with the four rear units of second core that didn't move. Got it. I'm going to do a three inch movement with him. Mm -hmm. Three inch movement with all right, that's it. You added four more. That takes us to 37. Ron, you're on individual moves now. Where in the fuzzy heck did he go? <laughs> Sorry about that. I freaking slipped on the computer. I think you're good there. You're good. Another guy decided to go rummaging around in the backfield. <laughs> <laughs> These battlefield euphemisms. Okay. All right. So it's thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty. That's thirty-four, thirty-five. 30, 30. All right. So uh, Doug, you while you're that. while you're back there. <laughs> yeah. So so thirty-six. How about that? And uh, the center. Oh, did you in have this particular Doug case? Did you have the center in this particular case yes. can hold. Ah, very good. The center is good. So, having passed the center, despite the despite the poetry of Matthew Arnold, the center will hold. Thirty six. How about that, Austrians? Can they go? I'm sorry. What was the dice roll? Thirty six. Yes. They can keep, keep going. going. Zeke, what you got? Okay. I'll activate um, 6th Core. Do... Oh. 
I'll activate. I'm just trying to see how many of these guys I want to actually do stuff with. All right, I'll at least activate um, two of the infantry units. Oh, here we go. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Uh, I'm gonna get one more of these up. Uh, all right, that's it for them. Thirty-nine. Ron, what do you got? Sorry, coordinating. Like color coordinating? Well, yeah, your summer fashion? Or... That's awesome. Yes. We're group. <laughs> we have to look have to good. Look good. <laughs> we have to look good together, yes. All right, I just I spun around my light cap. That's two. All right, 39, 40, 41, center. Anything? Nope, we're good. 41, how about that, Austrians? 41 is Yeah, good. how about that? Still good. Jeez, this is Zeke. Okay, uh... Got anything left, bud? <laughs> yeah, I got a little bit. I got this sixth core here. Um, you know, and shift, Zeke has been uh, really nice about trying to make sure he wasn't burning all the mo dice. <laughs> <I know. laughs> you know, he's been he's been very selfless about bring that. This, it's admirable, yeah, but it's like... Just a little bit. And... Artillery. I guess I'll just make this a another core activation. Mm -hmm. Are you moving the uh, yeah the six? Okay, uh, that's all I'll do with them. So forty-five. 45 and run. All right, I'm going to move some guys out of the fifth. Well, you're still on individual. Unfortunately, well, unfortunately, I'm unfortunately I met one guy out of the I met one Got guy it. out of the fifth. Got it. Where are you at? <laughs> this is one of those games where I got to find where you are so I can show the folks. There you are. Thank you. Gonna, oh, hey, how you doing? How you doing? That's it. 47. <laughs> Doug, you got anything? Yep. How about that, Austrians? 47. 47 is still good. Get out of here. Z. What? I got nothing else to move. <laughs> All right, Ryan, you got anything else you want to move? Actually, yeah, I do. All right. I'm down here in the fourth core secondary here. Got it. <laughs> 49. Okay. 49. French, or uh, sorry, Austrians? What was it? 49. Good. You can keep going, Ron. 51. Done. Holy cow. Well, you think wow. an average roll is 36, so they rolled like crazy pants. We rolled 50 again. Exactly. Jeez. That's a lot. All right, any artillery or musketoon fire from the uh, Aust from the French? Sorry. <coughs> uh, I have this one infantry unit here that uh, didn't move. That one right there? Uh, if they're in range, yeah. All right, from the center, please. Skirmish. That is indeed at skirmish range. So we say, they have the and they have skirmishers. Seven with a bonus, please. Or sorry, uh, it's three rounded up, four with a bonus. Come on, Zeke. Oh. 
pew pew pew. <laughs> I'm looking for a dice roller. Hold. Uh, Give him a thing. Give him a thing. That's a bonus. Ah, one hit. That's a bonus. Oh. Pew. There are lines marked. Nick, any other shots? That's always worth taking. Skirmishers. <laughs> anything, anything, anything? All right, no shots. So how about melees? Did we start any? Yes, yes we did. We started, right we started fustication. Of course, I always start melees. You know we that. We started fustication, my friend. So six versus six. Six to six. Let's have it. Three hits from Dalinor. Three. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Ow. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> the uh, Nuetro. In your face. Uh, Nuetro Hussar is <laughs> having none of that. And Dalinor's luck strikes again. I see some sabers through some skulls. I do too. If this Kurt keeps up, the Saxons aren't going to uh, come out and play anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> So uh, they have to go back six inches, facing the same way, facing the same way. But they were currently they were attacking. Yeah, they were attackers, so they bounced back. So they uh, weren't they a current? No, were they, they incorrectly they were, marked? Uh, they were marked. They were uninjured. This group was uninjured. They were they were marked as a current Alon four. I fixed that. That was me. Okay. All right. And now current. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. No worries. Always happy to answer questions. And that takes you to a current Alon 5. Well, we'd have to call that a win, I think. Yeah, the, I'd say so. For the Nuestra Hussar Brigade under Carecas. I like that name. Carecas. Very lyrical. Uh, any oh, other melees anywhere on this vast battlefield? This looks so great. This looks so great. Anything else? All right. Uh, okay. So if everybody would please advance their clocks to turn 7. My commitment, just so everybody knows, is we're going to wrap at 10 o'clock central, four hours solid. So we're going to do a hard stop wherever that is. Uh, 45 minutes left. 45 minutes. Left. So we're doing good. Yeah. We're yeah, not too bad. Yes. Huh. So, well, considering the size of the bet, considering we're playing. Vagram, right, exactly. Considering it's Vagram, I'm not going to complain too much. We knew it wasn't going to get wrapped up tonight, for heaven's sake. Um, so that requires our French friends to give nine mo dice to the Austrians, please. There's our number. Austrians, uh, what would have we done? How have we done this? We've started Peter, off. Peter, Peter, you want to go? Want to go first? Sure. Who are you going to activate? <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm taking a picture of the whole battlefield because this looks wonderful. The Saxons say, come get me. I'm pretty sure the Saxons just said, ow. That's what they <laughs> said. Yeah, yeah. No, that was the cavalry. Oh, okay. Still got the oh, amp. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they, they're like, the other, the, yeah, the Saxons sitting over here in square went, oh, did you see what happened to the, to the, Oh wow, it's Gutschmitz, which is just a funny name. Yeah, it's just a funny name. Uh, did you see what happened to Herr Gutschmitz? He got punched in the face by those Austrians. That was face punching. We had somebody watching Velker and I do an Oathmark game where we were doing a lot of weird voices. So ask whether we were using voice modulators in our videos. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Where were you when I needed you, Doug? Yes. Yes. That's what's happening. I'm going to individually act, um, move these. Yeah, honestly, Ian, I don't know what we would do without the old Meldrum guys. I mean, they're they're like my heroes. Well, you're still core activating them, right? Yeah, I'm core activating, but I'm just okay, physically just... physically moving them separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bonk. I'll get that out of your way. Are you bonk? You're intending to bonk them, yeah? So let's make some contact. Yeah, I bonk them. Right. <laughs> As the actress said to the bishop. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you will you just sit there and drink, please? I'm gonna ask my wife to go get my hat, and then when I wear my hat. <laughs> do, do not make I me go get, get, go get the, the tricorn with the feather. The tricorn, you take that back. It's a marshal's hat, and you know it. No, I have a tricorn. Oh, that's true. With a feather. You have the tricorn. That's right. You sure do. It's very jaunty. Very hey, we're not gonna say what he does with the feather. No. Do they say made well, in China? It is. It's, it is a tricorn. It's no one's business. No, mine actually has inside it a mock-up of the original oh, label, I, label from from. Hold on, one time out, time out, time out. What's up? What's up? What's up? Put them back where they were, Murdoch. I don't think they can because I mean these guys were in their way, so I might not have a view. That's right. You got to be able to see them. Line of sight. Yeah, you got to be able to see them. Where they about right. here? Yep. That's yeah, right. Right. Roger. That's right. That's right. Good catch. Good catch. Well, I might be drinking, but I can still see. <laughs> then you're not drinking enough. And, and they yeah, have exactly. to be in view at the beginning of the turn. So even if he so moved, even if he his, moved uh, hussers his, uh, hussers out of the way. Out of the way. Right. Correct. Okay. Right. <clears throat> right. Here I am. Sorry, Pete. Didn't mean to rule lawyer. You no, know. no, no. That's okay. That's fine. I'm going to save my Saxons. I don't know. They're going to get to re-roll some hits. Or you're going to have to re-roll. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Very aggressive. Very wow, aggressive. racing right through me. Yeah, these, the Saxons. Where do you suppose those guys are going? Those, those guys are going. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, wait a minute. What was that oh, yeah, speeding by? The guys that just punched our Saxon brothers and sisters in the face. Is that straight? Uh, that looked pretty good. Pretty good. I'm all right with it. Well, there's a first pivot. Yeah. Just correct me if I'm, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just because of the lack of degrees, if you will. Yep, yep, yep. I'm more looking at your line than anything else. That's about all right. Okay, so that was that activation, I believe. Yep. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Velker to you. Since you guys seem to be wanting a fight, I'm going to prepare. <laughs> there you go. You boys seem to wish war. You wish war. You shall have it. In the grim darkness of the future. That's 40k. <laughs> In the grim darkness of the past? The grim darkness of the past. There you go. So you're going to prepare both the uh, these fellas and these fellas, yeah? Yes. I'm just going to mark them with a double prepared marker so everybody knows they are prepared. So that's five, six, seven. Anything else you want to do? Uh, these guys are... Okay. Uh, these guys will prepare as well. You want them to prepare? All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Anything and else? Then these three. We'll also prepare. Ten, eleven, twelve. All right. I'm good. All right. Over here, Mike. All right. Fourth core. I'm actually going to start here on my right flank. Bring these guys up into line there. 13. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. That's it for those guys right now. Alright, that's 15. 
So I ask the French, 15, can they continue? They can. You may continue, so that takes it over to you, Peter. All right. I observe that the three core is sitting over there smoking cigarettes. Nice Turkish I cigarettes. The grenadiers. 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 I see them. What town is Haz talking about that can only hold one unit? Oh, this one. Bombersdorf. Where are we? Here oh. in the center. Uh -huh. Okay, so Velker, you're going to have to take one of those dudes out of there. I'm assuming he knows what he's talking about because he always freaking does. My guy. Uh, checking. Bombersdorf. Yep. One base width. He is correct. This guy has to come out. This guy. Or this guy, for that matter. It's whichever. Because uh, Baumersdorf can only be garrisoned by one unit. That's fine. So he is the only one prepared. But this, but this guy can stay prepared. Yeah, he can be prepared. If he had been behind there the entire time. Yep. There we go. There we go. Thanks, as always, has Thank you, Haz. Mike Trouble. I'm done with the <laughs> game. That was four mile. So that's 19, correct? That's my count? Mm -hmm. I that's correct. Yep. 19, so over to the center. Velker, you got anything? Over here, Mike. All right, advance guard. Um, this town right here. How many units can ha can be in it? I know I had three in there before, but it's noisy little sure that... noisy little is two. Okay, because I had three in there before, so that's why I was. There was two. Sixteen, seventeen. If I'm counting correctly. I was just continuing his move. There. All right, seventeen. Yeah, that's not going to do what I wanted to do. 18. I think he had plenty of movement to shift over. I think oh, out of sure. the way. Oh, sure. 19. He's got to clean the ranks up. <laughs> There we I go. Just, I don't know why. That's... Perhaps you sense an approaching enemy. All right. Perhaps. So 19. How about that, French people? Do the Austrians have anything else? Yep. Over here on you, Peter. 19 to you. Okay, hold on. We have more. We have more, do we? I'm going to do... Reserve move. Oh, here they come. The third core. So who's the nearest I guy can... that can see them? I can K. I can stay out of that guy's range. I can do this, and then I can go like. Yeah, this. they're on the other side of that hill. Like yeah, that. I can basically, I can basically get boom. Oh yeah. Boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna do. That's what I'll probably do. Let me let me do it in half move. Sure. So let me do about twenty. I'm gonna do about. 20. Let me do 20 in this direction, and then we'll go from there, okay? You go with your bad self. Bad self moving. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I can pivot at the end, but let's yep. see where we're going. 
Okay. Keep me honest there. I think I need to stay a little bit further over. Keep me honest on that cavalry right there. Which, yeah. Which one? Which one? Can you measure from that cavalry where your where your where your blackness is? This guy here. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, it's your uh, cavalry. So let Isn't me just it? take a look. That's oh you. yeah, it's mine. That's Sorry. You. Yeah, that's yeah. you. That's you. Um, okay, so I can actually go about probably more like that. Mm -hmm. Like about twenty to here. And then about, oops, sorry. And then I'm going to go about. Uh, where's your nearest unit? You might want to keep me honest here, too. Yep. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's, be, let's do some measurement be, here. Probably. Right here. But they can't see you past the city either. But I could probably do about like this way. I could do. Uh, that's 12 like inches. This. Down, but that's past those units, so they can't see you there either. Right, so I can do this. Yep. Another. Tell me when I'm 12 from that prepared unit. Can you can you give me a measurement from the prepared? Okay, oh, here we go. Side, this is yeah. where we need to. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Pull me back, pull me back, pull me back. There we go. There it is. Right about there. Ooh. There we go. Nice. That was well done. So what, 19, yeah, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. But that takes us over into the center. Velker, did you want to do anything? These guys are all going to move up. All right, they can do it. First, these two are going to switch. It's legit. 27, 28. 28, 29, I should say. 20, 29. That's it? They switched. This guy's nice for a bit, too. Okay. Okay. So that's 33. They're done. I, I still have more. Yeah, they can still keep going. So they're going to be done at the end of this. Keep going. Yep. So these guys are going... Okay. Uh, this is going to go to Hasdrubal's point. Which town is this? This is... They're not garrison. They're just... That's Otter Claw. Yeah, but yeah, that's true. That's true. They're just in the these two are the garrisons. These mm -hmm. guys are just... They well, they have, okay, got it. They're just passing through. And then these batteries. Go ahead. They get to do this. That's underclaw. Underclaw. Are you sure you didn't want to get a fire off on that? You had fire on that prepared unit, and that would have, a prepared unit takes penalty. Yep. No, but he's saying if you right. move up, you can't shoot. Okay. Right. I would probably at least. Yeah, one shot off before you move that. Sorry, don't mean to. Let me see what you got. Yeah, that's a shot. You got it. He has a line of sight, man. Just checking. And that, as a prepared unit, you get a bonus. Yep. Artillery on prepared unit. Yep. Is it just a bonus, or is it an extra die? It's a bonus. Okay. And how many dice? I got well, thirty using this guy, so he's a four. Yeah, we're still. Wait, wait, wait. You haven't fired or anything, uh, I don't we're not, think. We're not there yet. Yeah, he's yeah, fired. Yeah, you don't do it yet. Sorry about that. That gun has fired. Yeah, it has once. Okay, all right. Fine. All right, so that gun. Anything else, Walker? Uh, no. All right, Mike, you got one more move. You already heard from Doug. Um, going to be it for Nope. You. I've already moved all my units that all right, I that's can't it then. I need to. So. End of movements. Shooting. Sounds like Valker's going to get some in, yeah? Yep, Let's I've got it. some artillery fire too. So. All right, so Velker's got this one. Four dice with a bonus. One hit. There's that bonus counting. I have marked the Elan. Who else has an artillery shot? I do. Where is that, Mike? Uh, over here. Here it is. Position battery, at? yay. Who are you shooting at? I have to go with the closest, don't you? 
Nope. Out. Whoa. Steady. <laughs> if you're inside canister Charge. range, if you're inside canister range, you have to do the closest. Outside canister range, you don't. You can pick whoever you want. But I think this actually might be canister range. Yeah, I'm within six. Yeah. So you got to pick the nearest. That's that dude. So this is four with a bonus. That's all it is, right? You want to confirm that for me? Which one is fire? If you're inside canister range, that's just a bonus. Canister range, four I know dice it. with a bonus. That is correct. Okay, four with a bonus. There's the bonus. Ooh. Two. Well, you can only use one. No, one. only one bonus counts. So it's over here. Still, it's a good roll. Yeah, you take it. A lot has been marked. Any other gunfire? Over here, right? These positionals right here. Where too, are we going? As well as these positionals. These haven't moved, have they? These two right here? Sorry. Yeah, but you probably can't see them over the edge oh, of the they can fire here. Oh, that's right. That's a freaking hill. Yep. Damn it, damn Well, no, but he's damn up on a hill, too. Doesn't matter. Where yeah, that's you? right. This yeah, guy right. Here, yeah. This guy here, who you want to shoot at, he can't see. Could him. fire on him. Can he fire at this guy? No. Even if he's on the same level? The same, here? This guy, he's still back. you got to be on the same hill. Yeah. yeah. yeah this guy can't see yeah, this guy. Press okay. is probably like right here. All right. Exactly. But uh, exactly. this, this unit can here. Nope. Nope. Too far back. Yes. This guy's oh. too far back. You're going to have to get him up and to the edge. fire oh, at that? Oh, uh, bugger. <laughs> okay, that was my mistake telling Pete? you to do that. Hey, Peter, mm -hmm. you've got a couple of artillery shots yep, if you want yep, to. Yep, sure do. Okay. I didn't know if yep. you saw those or not. Where are they? Thank you. Right here, these positional batteries. Um, these are fives. I I'll hire the one at a time. Can I get a tab marker on them, please? Oh, these guys here? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right let so me see you... what I'm going to fire up. You can, you can pick your target. Let me see. I'll fire on the 24th Laguerre. And that's with five. Five, yep. Yeah, five, no bonus. Uh -huh. Nothing. Uh -huh. All right. The other battery will fire in the same unit. All right. And again, five, no bonus. Same. Yep. Two. Oh, that's a. Ouch. That's right. a made up, the, made up for a little bit. That's a poke in the shorts. Oh. Current line is marked. Anybody else firing? Let's take a look. I don't think anybody else has it. Yeah, I don't think anybody's good to shoot. Okay, do we want to. Do we have any melee on the. I don't think Let's go left any. to right here. Do we have any. Wait. Over here, well, over here we don't. We have something. All right, so I just want to make sure we have nothing over here. What you Any other shoot fire? Or? What you saying, Mike? Yeah, we're still shooting. What, yeah, what's our what's our musket range? Six inches. Very good. Uh, that's six. a shot. Yeah, but that guy's too far back. Yeah. If that's the guy you're shooting, he's you're right. back of that ridge. Well, this guy. Yeah, that guy's got a shot. You see? Yep. Yes, he does. Yeah. That's you, Velker, right? So that would be. No, that's me. Oh, sorry. So that's, uh, so that's three no bonus. Six dice. Three. Oh yeah, you're right. Correct. Three no bonus. <coughs> sorry, what was that, Jim? Three. It's uh, firing at this uh, first division, third corps, first brigade. Th uh, three dice, no bonus. Correct. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh well. You take it for free. Yep. And this guy's got a shot too. All right. And that's. Uh, what does he got? Also, oh, uh, that's attached artillery, but that's a hit. The attached artillery, that's an extra die. Extra so die. you're so you're gonna roll one. Extra, give me one more die, Mike. That's one hit. Miss. Miss. Okay. Oh, one hit. Yeah, that's a hit. You take that, right? Mm-hmm. 
Absolutely. That's a any more firing over there? Any more? Uh, I don't. No. Don't see any? Joker, I think you get some shooting. I does. Mm -hmm. You does. You can't shoot out of the town, but right this guy can. Yep. That is. Ooh, hang on. Is that yeah, that's is that uh, volley. volley. Volley yeah. range. So <laughs> five dice, no bonus. This is probably the most firing I've seen. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Good hit. The line is marked. Next. He can't shoot. He can't. That's going to be it, right? I think. All of our shooting Wait, for now. I think that means that these guys can fire too. Who's that, Volker? Those guys did. Oh. I believe they moved. They moved, but they moved, dude. They did not. Yeah, you moved. Not this turn. Oh, that's true. Yeah, this land fair did not move. He's right. They didn't move. So it's skirmish range. It's skirmish range. The land fair is hiding back there. Good lord. Three dice. Three dice, no bonus. Nothing. They tried. They tried their land fair best. Oh, yeah. I love their four leaf clovers on their hats. Yep. Did you notice this, folks? <laughs> these are these are lovely figs. Yeah, Checking them out. Look at that. They've got their they've got their sprigs of oak in their hat. Bless their hearts. All right. Anything else? And our I believe there were no melees, right? Right. Yes, there is. I swear over here. Over here. Oh, here. Lord. Here we go. Battlefields are ridiculous. Against my man. prepared so guys. Crazy. All right, so the bottom yeah, line there is long. he's got to reroll all hits. So it's eight to attached artillery. Five. Attached... Oh, yeah. That's only for fire. Attached artillery, I believe. Yeah, it's only for firing. Yeah, so five. He's currently at five. Eight to five, but, so... but the uh, cavalry rerolls all hits. Okay, hold on. Eight to five. <clears throat> Not very good. Ouch. Not very good for me either. Two and two. I got two hits. Two, two to one. Two and two. Um, so, but you have to reroll your two, Peter. Hold on a second. Yeah, okay. And he misses them both. Shit. So Jeez. you lose two. Boing. Yeah, that's a boing. Current. All right, you already take the two. About to. You're all set. So six inches facing right. the same way. And his line drops to four. That is not what they had in mind on that one. At least not that bad, but no. yeah. Oh well, such is such is Blucher. Such, right. such is Blucher. <laughs> that's not that's not wrong. All right. So anything else? Other melees I missed as I scan the battlefield. Hooey! Doing a lot here. All right. Well, we got time for one more turn, I think. Yep. Uh. All right. So that let us advance the turn, please. To turn eight. Very nice. And if I could ask the Austrians to please give the French 12 dice. Who wants watch. to do it? Ed Volker. All right. Or Peter, either one Velker's of you. doing it. Here it goes. Oh, Velker. Okay. You! Uh, <laughs> you shut up. You're not even playing. I am playing. I'm the umpire person. That doesn't mean you're playing. That's true. So, uh, our play. where's Napoleon's thing? Napoleon's well, thing. That. Napoleon's thing is going to come and help my friend Dalinor. Ooh, Napoleon's thing is visiting Masena. 
Not Napoleon's thing. It is. Na- Napoleon is a fickle boy. He is. Now I'm notice I am de- I am decrementing vigorous to two, so he's uh, so he's got one more turn of not being vigorous. But since he is not vigorous, however, he may now as fire off as many guys as he wants for a scant two points. Away you go, Ron. All right. Bonk. Man, there are lots of little stories all over this battlefield, aren't there? <laughs> and then appears to be a big story. Run away, Frenchie, run away. I think that's it, right? That's all for two. Yep. All right, that was a whole two points. Doug, what do you got in the center? We will do a core activation of... the um cavalry reserve ooh ooh they've been smoking their long elegant cigarettes this whole battle they are vaguely upset at this point all right away you go they would be eligible for a uh, reserve activation, I observe. Having Nair moved once. Uh, yeah, but by the time they get to where they really want to go... They'll be within that 12 inches, you say? Yeah, Yeah, probably. They would be They yep. would be basically there anyway. Oh I, oh, I see. So you're taking umbrage at Peter's attempt to uh, send some horsies in there. Umbridge has been taken. <laughs> um, How sad. Drunk again. Still. Fair point. It's of course, four. artillery movement is... Three, so it's... Three, nine. so it's not... Nine. nine. Obviously, what I intend to do is just be nice and lined up there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to go these guys. The conversation in chat has turned to Napoleon's thing. Is what? Napoleon's as, thing. As it should. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Talk about Napoleon's thing. Your mother? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> My bride? So since I'm turning through the town there, I assume that means I'm difficult moving. Going to be difficult moving. Mm-hmm. This really is a lovely tableau.
Very well. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I turn eleven points over to you, Zeke. Plus two. No, that's, that's with those two. Oh, okay. Yeah, you were nine. Uh, I will. Uh, maybe I'll use Davu's vigorous here. To All right, his core cuts it in half. I'm just gonna put the prepared markers on the Austrians. Um, yeah, in the behind, behind them. That's fine. Mark. That's fine. Oh, game on, kids! <laughs> I'm glad we got here before the day ended. <laughs> Who did he send in? Oh, and those are the guys too. I'm very pleased about that. That's legit. Mm -mm -mm. That's three so far. So it counts for one. The hills are the wow, hills Dark Horse is huge. It was. Yep. yep. And it was. Because it's actually, it's actually third and elements of fourth. But, fourth. It, but I guess it all depends how you use it. Well, usually, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what Josephine had to say about Napoleon's it's, thing. That's, actually, it isn't. That's actually, it isn't. Thing. That's the weird. <laughs> that's what's weird. Wellington and Napoleon both shared one woman. And she she had opinions on the subject. I did not as, know that. As well as, well as an odor. <laughs> yeah, she, oh. she, was, she was an Italian opera singer, and she was wow. she was impressed with <laughs> she was impressed with neither. Given Wellington's performance years later as prime minister, I. <laughs> I suspect she was right. Well, it's funny. I mean, he has, well, this, fun. he has this reputation as the Iron Duke. That's his nickname. He gets that name because the shutters he put over Apsley House when the yep. when they were protesting against him. So it has nothing mm -hmm. to do with his career. It has player. nothing to do with his military career. Mm. Yeah, well, he was a, a total prat as prime minister. He was yep. terrible. Yes, he was essentially Ulysses S. Grant. I mean, it was just not, you know... He had no idea what he was doing. Right. He had, he, had, he had done what he did in his field, and he was brilliant at it. And then he went, yeah, well, surely you can be a politician, too. He said, what? Why do you conclude that? <laughs> at, at least Grant was amiable. Yeah, no, Grant was an honorable man. I mean, that's the other thing. He wasn't a jerk. So that's it for just third He just hired people that weren't as... Uh scrupulous as he was right well that's the other thing he was, he was wild I mean, that right. was that was grant's biggest problem was it wasn't so much him it was Everybody the people he trusted right. it, 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 right. it. yeah so, no mostly it was that you know his administration was undermined by that guy with that huge mechanical spider out west right kenneth branham <laughs> yeah. oh my god <laughs> 11, 12, 13, But he did 14, get Will 15, Smith and Cle 16, Kevin Klein to save him. 18, 19, That's true. 20, true. 20, That's true. 20, 21. Am I right there, uh, Zeke? Did I except, right? uh, so I did 10 units total here, which I guess cut in half is... Oh, five. wait, no, wait. I'm sorry. Maybe I can't. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think I did 1, 2, 3. Okay, 10. Yeah, so 5. So 5. That's right. So 16. Uh, let me... All right, so that's 16. I have every confidence that they can continue. So I return over here to the left, and I say, Ron, 16 to you. <laughs> there. Your silly knees bent running about retreating behavior. Okay. That's two. Seventeen, eighteen. Uh, you in the center, Doug. 
Uh, I am activating the seventh core of Bavarian fellers. These Bavarian fellers are advancifying. The spinner. Hope everybody at home forgives me. I do a quick rule check. Um, this is a complex move. Yeah, if you are Bavarians, many of our moves are complex. It's very hard. It's very hard, I must confess. All right, that's all for seven core. How many did you move? You're not going to move the cavalry, Doug? Oh, those are, oh, those yeah, are, those are, yeah. are both. Those are both. Yep, here yep. they come. Here they come. How could you forget Giorgio's lovely cavalry? Well, they didn't have the fancy checkered flag. Yeah. Flag. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. 17, 18, 19, 20. So, 20 over here. 22, you, Zeke. Okay. Uh, I'll activate um, this cavalry division out here on the flank. All right. This is probably going to be a. Oh, this doesn't need to be. Well, I'll, I'll make it. I don't. I don't need to. Uh... Rarely have we seen such a skillfully ex exhibited hussar drift. <laughs> name is wrong that bothers me it's pa it's payol that's why it's true it's, it's much saucier than your rav your you know saucier than your average hussar which is crazy because they're plenty saucy oh yes they are yes especially the mustaches their mustaches are particularly saucy perhaps even jaunty they look like cowboy elvises <laughs> <laughs> My uh, old deputy and I always used to walk around. There are many problems you will have in a combat area. Like a chow, <laughs> no battery, but you will have the grooming standard. <laughs> I don't want any cowboy Elvises in this platoon. I hear Godfather himself say you look like a bum. <laughs> God, I love that movie. Well, series. That's it for my calf. Uh, oh. Five units. So great. 25. 25. So with that coming around, I say to our Austrian friends, how about them French doing 25? Can they keep going? They may continue. They may continue at 25. Proceed, Ron. Sure, put the pressure on me. Um... <laughs> Lack of bad One sec while I consult with uh, my other generals here. Do you have lack of battery? Cool chow. I hear Godfather himself. <laughs>
Okay, here we go. What are you activating? The whole core or just that guy? Okay. The whole core. Okay. But no bonk. Am I correct, Ron? Or are you doing it? There it is. Okay. No, is. I'm bonking. Okay. Sorry. All right. No, I want to see it. That's the thing. If you're going to do it, you got to do it. Do it. You Dang. Do it. Napoleon's thing. Now you want to see the bonk? What the heck, Jim? You. you know, Freud would have a field day. Um, book a chow wow. Hot merging action. <laughs> It's 26. You almost need little cubes to lay down on the map, Jim, while we're moving and everything so we can remember where the hell, the hell all the melees are and stuff afterwards. I'm starting to think about that. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Good luck with that. That? Good luck. Aha. Any other melees? All right, that's the moves. Right One, two, three, four. And then I had to get this guy so I could do that. So, five. 30. 30. 30 to you, Doug. Okay. 11 core. Throwing down markers, I guess. Where are you? There you are. But I actually only move how far an infantry unit actually can move. Except these are super infantry! We. It's true, they are, you know. They have an X in their number, so. <laughs> 31, 32. And that would be all of 11 core. 35. Over to you, Zeke. Okay. Um, I'll activate second core. Make sure where you are. And the center, Jim. Thank you. Let's see. Right, I want to move this unit. I'm just going to do the um, mm -hmm. three inches. Sure. Thirty-five. Thirty 
this cab. He can't charge because he uh, doesn't have the sight there. But. Correct. 36. Seven thirty-eight. Okay. Uh, I think that is it for them. That's it. All right. Thirty-eight. How do our Austrian friends feel about that? Austrians. Go Apparently, check. they fainted away. They are so faint. They are so faint. About thirty-eight. Let's see here. <coughs> Keep going. So, yeah, there you go. Ryan, you're up. Individual moves. All right. Done. Okay, so that's four days. So that's. 40 to you, Doug. Nothing in the center. Over on the right. Yeah, you do get into these situations where it's like, where do I put this guy? Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't realize I was muted there still. So, uh, that's my individual move there. Are you just doing an individual? All right, so that uh, was yeah. 42. You may continue. Ron, what do you got? A whole lot of mess. Still romping around Leopoldau. That's good enough. 44. Doug, you're good? Good. Zeke. Uh, I'll do one more individual move. Take, um, just bring this guy forward. Okay. That's it for me. 46. You may continue. Ron. All right, I'm over here at, uh, fifth core. Where you at? Just an individual move, I know. Mm hmm Got it. Done. 48. What do you got? Nothing in the center. Zeke? Okay. Uh, I'll do an individual move. Uh, this foot artillery. Which one where? There it is. Thank you. Actually, there it is. Thank yeah. You. Scooch, scooch, scooch. All right. He's good there. Yep, that's it. That that's takes it. it to 50, and that is it. The number was 49. So, uh, that was... All last right! Three, three rounds near 50. Cannon and musket fire. What do you got, cannon and musket fire, folks? Asking the French. Um, I got... Uh, go ahead, start uh, up there. Where do you okay, want to go? I've got these three units at Almersdorf. Got it. Want to shoot? Um, uh, where do you want to start? I guess we'll just go uh, my right to left. So All right, so this guy first. Third brigade here. All right, so yeah. let's see here. 
That's uh, current Alan is six, so that cuts to three, but that's a bonus four, so it's four with a bonus. And those Landwehr, I'm sure they're feeling good about that. One hit. One hit. One. First damage. No. Okay. And I'll do this uh, second brigade here mm -hmm. into uh, this prepared unit. There within. Are you within? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are. Not quite. It's... Wow, I'm having a brain fart. I think it's three. Skirmish range is just one base width, right? Right? Correct. Thank you. So he has three of the bonus. You mean volley you mean range. Volley yeah, range. I, I, and that's the other thing. I forever will think he got that name wrong. So that <laughs> is skirmish range. Uh, therefore, I'm sorry, we look here and we see it is three rounded to four. Four with a bonus. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. Ah. Uh. And then uh, this last unit, volley fire. That is volley fire, so therefore... Mm -hmm. uh, attached artillery, interesting. Four with a bonus. Sorry, five. Five, no bonus. Because attached it's artillery is just a plus. Yeah. Skirm oh, it's not yeah, skirmishers only work at skirmish yeah, yeah, yeah. range. And nothing. Five, no bonus. Did he roll? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, he I got, missed. I got, I got, I got. Oh, sorry. Much missing. Okay. Missed. Sorry. Five, no bonus, so that was a miss. Anything else? Other other shooting? Yeah, I got one right here in the center of fit with yeah, fifth. I saw that before, too. All right, so that's exactly six inches. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we'll go from there. Seven, that's four skirmish. So this to here to here, that is four with a bonus. It rounds up in Booker? Yep. Right. For shooting. Right. One hit. No, no, good you. Um. All good? All good. Anything else? Other shooting, please. You got anything else, Ron? Nah, that was all my shooting. All right. All right. I've got uh, these Saxons right here. Those fellas right there. Von Manucci. Mm-hmm. Well, shoot at the second dragon's uh, second brigade, Ralph Kirch. These fellas are out of range. Yeah, that's... That's 6-2. Yeah, he's out of range. Ah, shit. Yeah, I guess they are. Put that in the tire, won't you? Uh, did, uh, did, yeah, these okay. chaps, did these chaps move? Those guys moved. Okay. Yeah, so those guys moved. So they're out. Outrange. Anybody else for shooting? No? All right, well, we got some melee blocks placed down at Doug's suggestion. I think it's a great suggestion. So we're going to have melee blocks. I got one right here. You want to do this one? You guys want to do that one? Sure. Yeah, let's do, sure. Some, let's do sure. small sure. ones first. That says, uh, yeah, that's true. That says five to six. Uh -huh. So the French are coming with five. The Saxons have six. Or the, uh, the Austrians have six. Ooh. Three, four heads. Four. four to three. Three hits. Four to three, so that, that is a dunk to here. So it takes you down to five. One each, but the other fellow's got to return, and they have to face the wrong way. They have to go this direction, right? They got to go away. Yeah, they gotta or go. directly they away. Gotta go that way. Six inches, please. Very good. Really have to go this far. Yeah, I don't think you got to go yeah, quite that. Way far away from the yeah, you were being a little unmerciful to yourself. You got to, you got to, oh. you get about a good inch back. There you go. That's right. I got another one right here. I see another. I'm uh, saying that one is not. Uh, it's tough, but I think he is going up. That could have been much worse, everybody. <laughs> I, I, I don't disagree. Uh, I'll that, take the breathing room for my nostril, horse nostrils. Was, That's fine. Uh, 
Yeah, that's that's uh-huh. gonna, uh no, it's six it's uh five. Because this is a uh this is defending, so the shock doesn't count. Always defending, that yeah, is. so three to five. Once again. Three to five. There you go. Oh. There you go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> Alright, so all there that matters you go. There is that the attacker loses. And we drop that to two. He <coughs> he has to go back six inches, facing the right way this time. And our winner only loses. Wait, how is he allowed one? No, that was that was yeah, the, that go. was me. Right. That was me typing the wrong thing. So he's down to four. four. All right, to put that there. There we go. And he stays right where he was. Yeah, because he was a defender. Yep. All right. Any good other? scrap. Good scrap. That was a good scrap for the for the Austrians, no doubt. I know we have some others. There they are. So I'll let you guys choose what you want to do here. Start with the uh, two on the outside first. Here. All right. So the garrisoning thing, I do believe. Is a plus Where? two to the dice. Oh, yeah. That's a that's a plus two to their dice and a minus one to your dice. Because, because you're going into well, difficult, difficult terrain. difficult terrain for everybody, yeah. I believe. Right. Right. right so now, but the... Okay, I'll let you. Yeah, that's the... My recollection is both everybody... Okay. Come on, Jim. Work with me here. Modifiers. No difficult for garrison. As a yeah, exactly. That's it. that's it. So the difficult. So it's like stuff, a. But it doesn't count. Does it's it like count? A plus two it, and a minus one. Is that right? It, yeah, that's right. That's right. Because yeah, they're, they're is, very hard to get out. Attacking is horribly, horribly nasty. So, but again, he's got two guys coming in. So he's got six. He's got six. So that's twelve. Minus one, so ten. So this is going to be ten Six. versus eight. Ten to eight. Oh, it's always oh, supposed to the amount of dice, not the yeah. What you have to hit. Yeah, ten to eight. Yep, that's bas- that's basically one of the only ways to try to push them. There we go. Mm-hmm. One, yeah. two, three, three sixes. Sixes two don't fives. count. It's four to f- it's uh. So whoa, oh. but that's still Tricky. a lot. That's a lot. One, two, three, four. Very five. good roll. Very good roll. Six, six from six to six. Yeah. Six to six is a push, which means the defenders lose. The defenders have. To, let me mark them, please. Wait, really? Yep. That, the, or the attacker loses. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, the attacker loses. Yeah, the attacker loses. The attacker loses. So that's Colonel on four. They both lose. They're two. That's about as good as you could have rolled there. I was going to say, that was a bold roll, my friend. All right, and now you do get to continue to face the correct way. You don't have to look away. And I'll mark. move back a minimum of uh, how six. far? Six. Six inches. Six. There is six. Okay. All right, everybody is updated, so you can move them around. So the fight for Noisy Eatle did not go well for the French the first round. How about this one? And then there's this next one. Yeah, here. so this one here is six, eight. So they've got eight, and you're coming in with five. six, five. five. Eight five. to what five. What about my attached artillery? What about my attached artillery, artillery? only applies in shooting. Shooting? Okay. So eight. So eight to five. Uh, not as well. Ooh, but neither did he. Twice. It's, it's two again. It's the same thing. Two to two. Wow, another tie. So I gotta drop. I gotta drop him to. And then I gotta get him for two. Oh, sorry. No, no, no problem. Gotta kept up. Got him. Go ahead. Okay. That's a long way back. But there's a lot more fresh troops coming. Well, that's the whole point, right? Okay. All right, I think I picked up all my markers, right? Yep. Whew. Yep. 
Well, that's it then. That is yep. four, that is four Pretty. hours in. Very good. Let's please advance the turn markers. Just so we know we're at the right turn. We'll check morale. The morale for the French remains at 20. Get it, Belker. Remains at Belker, 29. did you move our turn marker? I moved it, yeah. It's good. The morale okay, of the you. Austrians is 24. Um, the reinforcements are on. So, wow. A lot of stuff went on in this four hours. So, and we got our different the people are. And we got ourselves to turn nine. We'll be at turn nine, which is an Austrian turn at the start. Well, remember Buck Surdu's rule about war games. Watch a war game. Take a look at the board, and then walk away for two hours and come back and tell me if anything has changed. If nothing has changed, you're watching a crappy game. <laughs> this and is not a crappy game, then. This, this is not a crappy game. A ton has changed. Huge fight over here for Brightonly. A huge fight is developing over in this area. And God Almighty knows that Davu is up to something. Noise Eatle is in trouble. So this is, this is going to be a punching match. And through it all, by the way... Uh, his His Majesty Napoleon is sitting on the guard. Where is the guard? The Imperial Guard is back here. Including the guns and the whole Eight crew. And shock, yeah, they don't they don't fool around, but uh, they're not they're not employed yet. So wow. So first things and most important, let me save this, please. I'm gonna do that. Let me take another quick peek out into the chat and see if we got anything worth noting before we head out. Doot. The, uh, there we go. All right, so there's a lot of talk about music going on right now. The, <laughs> bless wow. their hearts. Well, thank you very much to the peanut gallery, but most of all, thanks to the players. Um, this is a blast. I love this more than I can describe. This is what I want Napoleonic Wargaming to always be. I don't know as I find any smaller scale satisfactory anymore. But then again, there are only so many games that are Vagram, right? But uh, I hope you can all join us in one week's time when we will take up part two of Vagram. Um, at this pace, it's looking like we're at about uh, a four-parter, so that's okay too. But uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, I hope you're all well. Thanks to all who watched. And, uh, well, shoot, I need to go back around to Sean Connery because he always says goodbye to us, too. There he is. And, uh, yeah. So this was Vagram Part 1. Thanks so much for everybody that hung out to watch. Thanks to those that played. In the meanwhile, please take care. <laughs>